everyone. This is Bloodberry Tart, and welcome back to more Ill Bleed. I'm very, very excited today. Very excited for this one. We raised a lot of money to do this one. I'm very excited. First, we gotta let everyone know that we're streaming. Let me just shoot out some quick messages. doing today hello 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 crowbar rock hello welcome back how's everybody doing so as part of this stream time i'm actually uh sending out our live notifications on discord and uh what's the website that friendster or whatever Man! Oh my god, I hate... I hate Discord auto mod so much. I can't send out my notification with a picture of Eriko from the game because her titties are out. This is ridiculous. Cameron, hello! New your new house with your boyfriend? Oh, that's so cute! Congratulations! I'm doing well. I, I, uh, we invested a little bit of money into the stream and, uh, I got a laptop in the mail, like, five minutes before the stream started. So, I'm pretty excited about it. Yes, this is a HelloFresh banner. We have a HelloFresh sponsorship ongoing. Uh, you're making your first fresh meal tonight? I made my first fresh... I actually made my second fresh meal today. I made my first one over the weekend. Uh, honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with it. As somebody who doesn't really know their way around the kitchen very well, uh, it has been a really good... Uh, a really good way to like learn how to like f maneuver my way around the kitchen without lighting anything on fire, messing anything up, or getting too scared. I've made a panko crusted salmon, and I've made a like an herb chicken, both of which had like a side and a salad, and they were really good. I do know that I chop an onion now. Shame no, we're always a little horny, you know. I wouldn't say no horny. Ooh, Crobot Rock, that's smart. Yeah, save your recipes. Berry cook Puck, the plan is berry cooking stream next week. We're trying to figure it out. Getting the logistics right.
Yeah, Mafios, they had me chopping onions. They had me zesting stuff. They had me peeling. Uh, they love to have you mound things. They love to, to say that you're going to mound something. There's a lot of that. It's been good. I don't know. I learned a lot of stuff in the kitchen. It's been a lot of fun to have the HelloFresh. Alright, I'm posting to Twitter to let everyone know uh, we are live. Oh, I didn't update. Oh, okay. I, I updated it. I hadn't clicked it. How they teach? Oh, it's no. The, you get it is this little printout that has like your whole recipe on it. It's great. I've had to look, you know, every once in a while you gotta look something, a little thing up, like, like they're like, zest this. I was like, man, what is a zester? I looked it up and you're right away what it was. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, no, it's not. If it was video, I wouldn't do it, probably. Uh, just because, like, not, not like for a principled reason. I just know that if I had to watch a bunch of videos, I wouldn't do it. It's just, a, you, you read it right off it. It's great. Yes, Illbleed is the game that's like, no, honey, we have jump scares at home. That's absolutely Illbleed. Uh, the title should be right now if you want to refresh. I might... Somebody else said it was wrong. Um, I clicked the button to refresh it again on my end. It should be refreshed on your end. Yeah, it seems... So far, it's been a really great teaching tool. For me, I'm excited to do. We're the plan is to do a uh, cooking stream next week. Uh, this is a real push of our like ability to learn how to do a lot of new things in a really short period of time. Because I am not only learning how to cook, but also how to do like a stream using lavalier mics and like all kinds of like a whole completely different kind of content creation than I normally do. Um, it is proving both very expensive and very time consuming. But also, as always, making content is always very rewarding, so I'm very excited to do it. I'm not removing clothing. I could I could do that for probably the first level, but my I'm wearing a jumpsuit, so like all of my clothes is just like like I take this off and I'm just in my underwear. Yeah, I'm not a fan of video teaching. It's not for me. Personally. Do a Julia Child impression. <laughs> All right. You know, at first I thought, when you said Julia Child, I thought Julia Fox. And so I was like, what, what like have like a really nice body, but it doesn't matter because my outfit choices are so bad.
Damn it, I do not all right. I dress cool. Get out of here. Yeah, Peter Hughes, Julia Fox dresses like some not safe for work uh, artist's OC. But it turns out a lot of those outfits don't work great in person. Yeah, deranged clothes choice. I'm actually, you know, I think I'm, I might, uh, I might go ahead and get into this now because we, we're we gonna have a, actually a little chatting time later because, uh, part of this run, uh, like, you get to do a lot of very specific things to make this run work. Um, ooh, it's seven month resub. And one of the things we have to do is literally just burn this 20 fucking minutes in like the middle of the run to make sure that somebody dies. Like it's someone who's really not supposed to die. So you, they give you a full 20 minutes to rescue him, but he needs to, to get the good ending. So uh, <laughs> let's just get started. And when we burn that, we'll go back to our chatting. Thank you so much for the resub, Mel. Brent Boss, tell me more. Yes, we're gonna burn real life, real life twenty minutes during the stream, which we'll probably just do a YouTube or something. But you got sometimes you gotta do some weird stuff. See, let's start that over. You guys deserve to hear the. Uh, you guys deserve to hear the sound that the Dreamcast make when it starts up. Just like anybody else. Ah. Uh, God, that's good. Jorg? I know, all I know about Jorg's voice actor is Jorg, I don't know about Jorg, Jorg's voice actor, actually. I just know that Jorg is based off of a, I think, a video game journalist that was friends with the developer. Um, because he was posting not long ago on Twitter and was like, hey, does anyone have a copy of Ill Bleed? I'm in it, and I don't own a copy of it, and I'd really like to, seeing as, you know, it, my, my late friend made it, put me in their game. Which was cute. There we go, that's good. Oh, it's ill bleed, baby. No, we don't have to, we, we have to waste 20 minutes during our run. So you'll see this one here with the gold name. That is our new game plus. Yes, that's the file we want to load. Ezer, welcome. No, 
obviously I didn't test this ahead of time, so let's hope it works. The good news is every time I don't test things, it always goes right on this stream, so I'm sure it won't be a problem. Yes, welcome. Yeah, the ill bleed music. Was it a green name? No, you're actually the one who's not colorblind. I'm the one who's colorblind. If I said the wrong color, it's because I can't see colors. It doesn't matter. It's the one that's not white. Tennyson, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. All right. Yes, I am colorblind. Yeah, I like that. I love that the yen is just directly in the dollars. I, to say I see red as green is a little limited. It's, it is more like I had I have trouble. Um, because here's the thing about being colorblind: is every everyone who's not colorblind thinks like, "Oh, you mix up red and green, and otherwise you see colors the same as me." Um, but it's more like you spend your whole life normally learning to differentiate colors. And when you, you have co colors you can't see, that also affects the undertones of other colors. Which means you never really properly develop the ability to see most colors in general, or at least differentiate them reliably. Uh, so, to ask me, like, oh, which colors don't you see? Properly? Probably all of them compared to you. Ezra, it's a great question. You'd have to ask MK, though. She does all this, the science for the stream. I just play the games. Let's do it. come true. Neither did Jimmy or his father, Gail Banbalo, a Minnesota innkeeper. He set up a secret baseball practice arena in the basement of his inn, where he and his son practiced day after day. Jimmy's hard work and batting skills finally led his team to a state victory. It started out a crisp spring day, but before Jimmy could go outside to play, he and his dad went downstairs to bat the ball around a few times. Upstairs, some teenagers had been playing with fire, turning the inn into a raging blaze that was soon out of control. The inn was a total loss, and so was Jimmy, burned in minutes. Mr. Banbala was so badly maimed, he turned into a hideous monster, oozing and bleeding, snarling and growling like a beast, enraged and bent on revenge. He tracked down the kids responsible for the fire and killed them one by one with a blowtorch. That wasn't enough for Bambalo. He won't leave his inn or his memories, so there he waits, in ambush. Oh, Angsty Lou, the 17-month resub. Thank you so, so much. The home run of death. Yes, this whole game is unhinged. Yes, I do have to redo it to get the true ending. 
to the challengers. Your mission is to calm the anger of Ben Balo. His only weakness? Jimmy. Though he is mad, he quickly drops his guard when he thinks of Jimmy. Quote, Memories of Jimmy is the key to this mission. Uh, the good news is, K-Wall, is this is probably the most annoying one of them all to not rescue. Everyone else you can just kind of walk away from and never rescue them. can't dodge that one. That wasn't my fault. I'm still playing good. You have to get hit by that one. It's the one that teaches you what the shock is. No haters. There we go. Heart monitor. So we like... I'm like not even gonna... Uh, uh, we're, we're really just going like... Pure mechanical mode this time. I know where a lot of the items are now. I'm just gonna like... Let's see. Oh, nope. That one was a shock. Got me. I fell for it, but there's a Hassi around here that'll heal any damage I took. Yes, the concept- I have to- to get the good ending, you have to beat the game, save everyone. Then you have to start a new game plus, and save no one. This is the only way to get the true ending of Ill Belief. You may say to me, Barry, but that's kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Chef Hathaway with the ill bleed stinger. Thank you so much. I need to get... I have a plans for a second stinger sound. I've been waiting for, a, like, a lot of games to finally decide, like, what sound we should use for our next stinger sound. I think I figured it out. I think it's the sound from Nun Massacre. When the nun sees you and there's that synth sound that goes... <laughs> That thing? Yeah. That, like, terrifying sound? That's gonna be the next one. What do you mean my back's not getting enough support? What do you- what? I got a nice chair. Oh, posture moment. <laughs> now it's getting enough support. Whoa! Now my posture's really good. You didn't see the Nun Mass- Oh, it was- it's, Nun Massacre has, like, the most insane sound I've ever- Probably the scariest sound I've ever heard in a video game. Uh, when you see it, um, instead of playing, like, tense music, it- Or, like, a scream, it plays, like, an extremely loud, extremely noisy synthesizer sound that, like, burns off into self-oscillating synth sounds as it gets further away. Uh, it's, like, deafeningly loud. It's so cool. It's really- it- It's the scariest sound the game's ever made. <laughs> like, it's that simple. I've never heard, played a game that made a sound that scary before. <laughs> Souls Martin with the fail trombone kicking off a hype train. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Gail. Fatal frame I haven't played yet. Uh soon. Soon I'll be a real frame head, but I have not played it yet. Choo Choo is right, baby. Do 
Yuku gifted two tier one subs to Jarth Brooks and Video James. Thank you so, so much. Youngsters, come join us. Chateau Banbalo opens today. Youth Hostel Chateau Banbalo open today. A place where the young can gather. Owner Mr. Banbalo says with enthusiasm, I want the chateau to be a utopia for teenagers. The hostel, an excellent leisure facility surrounded by nature as an excellent leisure facility. Well put. Soul Spartan, to your 100 fists, thank you so much. Yeah. It, <laughs> fuck, I, I did the same thing. I was like, kind of a weird thing to say, but okay. It's a different time. K Wall with the gift sub to Rusty Shovel 99. One of these is cursed and one has a band aid in it. That one's cursed. Cool. You don't. What do you mean? Jeez. A guy starts one hostel for, you know, t only teens and himself, where he sleeps in the same bed as his son, and everyone's like, whoa, something's weird. It's because you guys are all afraid of traditional values. When I was growing up on the teen hostel with my dad, it, this was all perfectly normal. But now, because of the woke mob. Sophie with 100 bits, thank you so much. There's a beep, but what? Huh. There's something I'm seeing. What am I seeing? Oh, more newspaper clippings, okay. Fire at Chateau Bambalo claims life of owner and son. McPaw with the 200 bits. Let's go. This one's for the woke mob. The, the woke mob. We'll see who cancels who. That's right. Up yours, woke moral. God, I can't even say it. I heard his voice recently and I started laughing so hard. Yeah, I'm going to be a Greek-style trad personality. I don't know. Something about the ancient Greeks. They, you know, they had something figured out. Uh, fire broke out last night in the annex of Chateau Bambalo. Jimmy, eight, son of Mr. Bambalo, 41, died of severe... I like how they, they put the kid's name in the newspaper, but not the dad's. Improper use of fireworks by your guests allegedly caused the fire. A flat cap with 100 bits. I love Illbleed so much. Thank you for playing it. B-movie classic. Happy to be playing it. Thank you so much for the bits and thanks for tuning in. Something stinks. One of these doors is stinky. Is it this door? I think this door is stinky. No. No, no. Actually, it's just normal. Something stinky around here. One of these lamps? I feel like... Oh, come on. It's the one I didn't tag. It doesn't matter. This is a New Game Plus character, so I got, like, health for days. I don't even have to play well. Friend Boss with the 200 bits. Let's go. There are feminine boys. What are we going to do about that? See, here's the thing. Many have asked this question, but uh, real men have already answered that question many, many years ago. Like most traditionalists, I look to the wisdom of the ancient Greeks when I ask that question. To which they say, buddy, that's my wife. 30 seconds left on the hype train if anyone wants to push us over. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, Van Balo, he's just like, share. Well, they say his, his name is Gale. Gale, which is a weird name for a man in the first place, but still. Pushing us over! Flat Cap with the gift sub and K-Wall with the gift sub and Soul Spartan with the 110 bits. Thank you so, so much. Let's go! Let's go! 
All right, we get our steak. So the reason I'm not speeding let's through this, party. Angsty Lou with the let's party three hundred bits. Thank you so much. Uh, the reason I'm not speeding through this is because there's actually a second condition uh, that can cause you to save him if you beat the level super fast. Which is why I'm not speeding through the level, even though I do know this level well enough that I could just run through it. But we are playing it very careful, trying to make sure that Kevin Kurtzman dies. So let's start with the 52 bits. Gale Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad is that show that's like the spin-off of all the Better Call Saul characters, right? Yeah, we're in our sociopath era, that's true. Oh, God, was it the one I didn't tag? Oh, no, he didn't get me because I tagged it. Massive W. Yeah, breaking call Saul, exactly. I've actually only ever seen uh, Better Call Saul, I've never seen Breaking Bad. It's just like my experience with how I've only ever seen the Star Wars prequels, not the original Star Wars movies. I will not be told when he dies, I will set a timer. When we get to a certain point, like, after that point, we'll have to burn 20 minutes, and what we'll probably do is we'll probably just watch, like, a stupid speed run on YouTube that, like, takes that amount of time and then just come back. <laughs> yeah, we can do pig races. Cool. I've never seen the best war in the stars. No, I've seen Phantom Menace. What's the point of the other ones? Jar Jar's not in the other ones. Level 3 of that hype train, more than halfway there. I think a pack of gift subs might push us over. Sad Sixer fan with the Prime sub! Putting us at 86% level 3 of that hype train. Thank you so much. Trans rights. Yeah, Chef Hathaway, pushing us over. Oh god, this weird part. All right, well, here, here's this thing that happens. Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, it's time for practice. Get out to the training field now. Hey, you're not Jimmy. Damn. Better Call Saul reference? Jimmy? I have never seen the original. I've only ever seen Better Call Saul, and I love it. I think it's great. I hear uh, that Saul Goodman is a much more robust character in pretty much every way in his own show. Yourself. Oh, welcome back! March of the Slugs! Thank you so much for the resub. Pushing us up to level 4 that hype train. You're telling me there's a shock around here, but I like never find anything around here. Whoa! There we go! Whoa! Okay! Sure! Whatever! It also tells me there's something around here. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe this is it. But what's where can I access it from? If like that is it. Oh, do I have to jump up? Is that why I've never gotten it? Ah, there we go. I 
I forget you can jump in this game. It's so like, it's not exactly like they use it a lot. There's one required jump in wood puppets because that's how they keep you from uh, leaving the wood puppets area without turning yourself back into a human is that wood puppets can't jump. I, do you, I feel like maybe they did create it for that, but I feel like it's maybe even more likely that they created the jump because like jump was such like a basic thing in video games back then, and then they realized they didn't really need it. But like you know, they had enough buttons on the controller that they're like whatever. Yeah, I heard that one of the most important plot points of all time in Star Wars is actually a Fortnite exclusive now. That kind of rules. Also, if anyone's got any Prime subs kicking around, we do have a hype train going on if you want a free emote. Whoa! The moment I speak, March of the Slunks with the five gift subs. Simply, Puck, Perfect Urkel, Rubies, and Vamos, enjoy your gift subs, and thank you so much. Number one victory royale is right. All right, let's take some deep breaths. Number one victory royale. Get Fortnite without get down, get down. I just got a laptop so that we can do more like weird streams, like cooking streams and stuff like that. Um. So, I'm all will also give you more time and more ability to play Fortnite. I think I'm gonna really take off as a you know the next big Fortnite streamer. Cosplay as Cooking Mama. That would be cute. I've never played Cooking Mama. It's so criminal. You know how like you can wear a bathing suit, uh, even if it violates violates Twitch TOS if you're doing a hot tub stream. There should be a rule for a cooking stream where you're allowed to have like side and under boob, as long as you're doing like an outfit where you're just wearing an apron and nothing else. I feel like that's the whole point of like, you know, if you're gonna let me do a cooking stream, let me wear the uniform. For baby, I knew that you would agree with me. I know we're on the same page. I'm always looking at your post and I'm like, gosh, she's just like me for real. No, but I would love to play the the PETA game, the PETA Cooking Mama clone. That sounds like exactly the kind of thing I would enjoy. <laughs> Star Wars was never good. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was good. I, I can't vouch on any of the movies or anything, but I can say that Knights of the Old Republic genuinely was good. <laughs> Star Wars is cringe, this is true. You know what? There, there have been a couple of good Star Wars games. I like Star Wars Republic Commando too, the one where uh, you have the Viper Blade in your fist. And when you punch a guy and it kills him with the Viper Blade, it sprays their like alien blood on you, and then like a little windshield wiper comes down and wipes it off your visor. That's like all I remember about it, but that shit kicked ass. The N64 podcast. Oh yeah, I forgot about all the podcasting in uh, Star Wars Episode 1. It, they talk a lot about podcasting in that. My wife is currently playing the Star Wars Souls-like. 
For anyone who doesn't know, it's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's like kind of like somewhere between like a Prince of Persia and a Dark Souls set in the Star Wars universe. Honestly, seems kind of fun. Yeah, instead of, uh, Anakin lands the most racist jokes they take him as a protege. <laughs> yeah, the, for the podcasting test, they don't even, like, do the midichlorian thing. They just, like, see how many slurs you can say in, like, a 30-second, like, range. You're just like, wow, this kid is incredible. He's like, no one we've ever seen before. On this dead, it seems pretty cool. Cool. I feel like a skilling fan was the thing that hits you in here. Yeah. Cool. I know this like the back of my hand now. Which is fine, because we're doing challenge run stuff. You were oh, poor baby, great choice. Murder House is my favorite one. Puppet's work is great. He's so good. Suzuka, hello, welcome. Shock with 100 bits, thank you so, so much. Fan of old jank games like this, you've come to the right channel. So are we. One could argue it's our bread and butter here. Take our 1999 Minnesota Child Baseball League Championship plaque. I'm not... I honestly know. I'm not sure how this game chooses which traps are active. Lay it on me. I'd love to find out. I've played this enough times I don't think it would spoil the game for me or anything. Mass homicide at Chateau Bambalo. Owner, Mr. Bambalo, this will mysteriously disappear. They they never say his first name in any of these uh, articles about him, even though they give it to us right in the beginning. Mercilessly murdered bodies were found at Chateau Bambalo. Burned. What did that? Something about that sentence is insane. Mercilessly murdered bodies were found at Chateau Bambalo. Burned. All identified as young guests. Mr. Bambalo, the hotel owner, is missing. Details are still under investigation. Mr. Bambalo's diary was found at the site. Hatred directed towards the guests who caused the fire filled the pages. The state police are searching for their suspect. Mr. Bambalo. Basically, not sure. You tell us three different layouts of traps and it's randomly chosen on start. Oh, okay. That explains why sometimes I'll feel like I know where the traps are even though like I thought they were random. Okay, because there's, there's it's just three sets that are chosen at random. That makes sense. March of the Slugs, this is for you. Did you know that uh, in Japan, this stuffed animal is the mascot for Ikea. He has little legs and, like, a little suit and tie. It's Blahaj-san. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were randomized too. Inter it's good to know that. Interesting. We had someone in here uh, who was a speedrunner of this recently, and they were talking about stuff like that. I ta I thought I tagged. I guess I. Oh, I tagged the mirror behind it. Okay. Stupid. Mm -hmm. 
I sent Tess the picture of Lahaj with the suit and tie, and I was like, this is what the guys you like look like. Let's go! Called Lahaj, yeah. Hey, happy, uh, happy Mike Ehrman Trout Monday to all the viewers, by the way. I hope you're all having a great Mike Monday to those of you who celebrate. Strip the girl, we're on it. Mushroom, welcome. 19 month three sub. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, it's Mike Herman Trout Monday. Closing in on 24 months, I know, crazy, right? X months, X day. Hotel business is on track. Had intensive batting exercise with Jimmy in the basement again. Batting style seems improved. Chin still goes up when he swings. Practice again tomorrow to try 1,000 swings. Chin did not go up today. Good job, Jimmy. That's the swing. Minnesota Kids League Finals tomorrow. Eat protein-rich food tonight. You'll need a lot of energy. Papa will get up at four tomorrow to make a special drink for you. Do your best, Jimmy. We won the championship. Jimmy hit the winning homer. He's the MVP. Congratulations, Jimmy. I can't help shedding my tears of joy. I'll confirm all interest in the restaurant. Guests may ask, Mr. Bambalo, who's that? Ah, oh, that's Jimmy. He was chosen MVP in the boys' league. It's such a thrill just to think about it. I shall treat the guests with barbecue tonight. Who do you think the home run king is this year? Oh, it's Jimmy. All because you endured my hard training. You've done well, Jimmy. Your trophy is magnificent. Let's place it in our bedroom so we can see it every day, Jimmy. Keep hitting and fill the chateau with your records and trophies. Let's go, Jimmy. What's the- I did it in a normal voice before! I gotta choose- I gotta entertain myself somehow. Cool. Yeah, our- yeah, that, that, that's the sinister twist is when you get to the our bedroom. Wait! Wait! Jimmy's trophy obtained. Oh, Jimmy, you're now gone. Papa will treasure your bat, the one you practice with and hit the winning homer with. 
Now I curse the hateful youngsters holding that bat. Bastards. Why did my beloved Jimmy have to be killed by such imbeciles? Papa will revenge your death. I'll kill all lurking around. I'll do it for you, Jimmy. Oh, he just murders. Yeah. Everyone's like, everyone's like oh, good. He just murders them. That's better than what I thought. Jeez, you make one youth hostel for teens. Everyone's so up in arms about it. But I don't see you jumping up to run a youth hostel. This is exactly like Ornstein and Smo. Cool. Yeah, I gotta keep my chin down when I swing. Huh. My lights are flickering today. How strange. Well, I'll figure it out. Tess, I think Tess mentioned it when she was going, but just in case she didn't, uh, we still have a HelloFresh sponsorship ongoing. You can use our code by typing exclamation point HelloFresh in the chat. You'll get our code or our link, both of which will do it. You'll get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six boxes. We got a can of fancy ginger beer as one of our, fan our gifts, which was uh, actually very nice. Perfect ginger beer household. Yeah, it was cool to, to like be unpacking and just find like a rogue ginger beer in there. I was like, ooh, how fun. Whoever put a area rug down on this fully carpeted floor is a maniac. prefer a blonde bear. Yeah, well, I don't have one of those at home, you know? But it was good. I, I've made a panko-crusted salmon and a, a urban mozzarella-crusted chicken, both of which had their own little... One of them had, like, couscous and uh, carrots. The other one had a green bean, sal green bean and tomato salad and mashed potatoes. It's all been very good, and I've learned a lot about cooking. It's fun. The beer pong rug? Yeah, it's fair. Are you a frat guy, Crobot Rock? Logic. I'm just wondering how it was delivered to our viewer's brain. Cool. This was, they were good. Yeah, everything was really good. I like to mash my own potatoes because then I get to pick the consistency. I like them. I like them a little finer than my wife does. I don't know if you guys are a coarse mashed potato or a uh, or a fine mashed potato group of people. I'm sure either way that you're a very nice person. You're a frat guy. That makes sense, actually, Crobot Rock. The Greek lifestyle really seems like it appeals to you. <laughs> My heart is getting a little... Mm -hmm. 
Non potato. Yeah, we support all potatoes on this stream. You could do anything to a potato and you would eat it. Time to do anything to a potato. I've never had a blender mashed potato. That sounds seems a little extreme. That said, I do like to to squish mine by hand. Uh, uh, probably a good twenty to thirty percent longer than most people do. So I might still also be evil to you. I like that the Greek lifestyle means two wildly different lifestyles. Yeah, you know, I mean. Not always as distinct as you think. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't ask anything I did in college. <laughs> there's gotta be... There's an item around here somewhere. There it is. That's us attacking. Meatloaf. I loved uh, what, the band or the food. Because uh, I love meatloaf. The musical artist, and also my last HelloFresh I haven't made yet from this week is meatloaf, or as they call it, meatloaves, plural, which is I, I get is probably technically correct, but is a little feels a little weird. I don't know how I feel about it. It just feels wrong, right? Like to call them meat loaves. I think the plural should be meats loaf. Yeah, no, Suzuka, I I absolutely 100% agree that uh, this is probably the hardest level to go into blind because you you get so many consumables for everything else. The hardest, there's like individual things that are harder. Like, uh, I would say like some of the most frustrating parts of this game is like the part where you have to fight the three worms in, uh, uh, whatever Cashman's level is called. I'm blanking on it. Department Store of Doom or whatever. Uh, the part where you have to jump over the rope in that same level and the fight with Killer Man are all pretty uh, frustrating in and of themselves, but I don't think any level is quite as hard as taking this one on blind. I had to like play this game a lot off stream to like understand it well enough to play it on stream. And mostly it was just memorizing this level like the back of my hand. I love meatloaf. I love, uh, my, uh, my freshman year at college, a, a bunch of the guys on the floor got really obsessed with that meatloaf's album, Bad Out of Hell, and one of them was a pianist, and so you just, like, all times of day would hear somebody playing that, like, p opening piano part to Bad Out of Hell, and that's sick, because that piano part's great. Meatloaf is underrated, the food, I agree. Yeah, Suzuka, I make a point to always have, like, like the the things I prioritize the most, I would say, would be, like, heart rate and bleeding stuff. Because if you if you stay on top of your bleeding, it never gets that bad. But if you don't, it's like, okay, you're just, like, you can set yourself up to be, like, it's impossible for me to win.
Queen, yeah, Queen was doing all kinds of insane shit though, back then. That's just kind of how it was. I was raised very heavily on Queen. My mom was a huge Queen fan. Uh, it's super funny in retrospect that there was ever a period where people are like, wait, Freddie Mercury likes men? And then you like look at watch the video for Killer Queen from when like that was still, you know, very closeted. Nobody knew he was gay. Or he was bi actually, but nobody knew he liked men. Um, and you see him in the Killer Queen video and you're like, this is the guy that you're <laughs> And let them eat cake, she says. Just like Marie Antoinette. Like, bro, you fucking... All right. <laughs> Rob Halford is really funny. Rob Halford, like, irreparably changed the way metal guys dress to include leather. And it's so funny, it's so funny that there's still, like, black metal bands that are full of, like, far-right fascists. And they all wear, like, little gay leather outfits like Ralph Halford did! That shit's so fucking funny! <sighs> Killer Queen by Queen has my favorite drum fill of all time in it. Which is the, uh, the drum fill that comes after the... To avoid complication, she never kept the same address. There's like a really tight snare roll into like a chime where the crash symbol should be. That shit goes so hard. Oh, there it is. Number three, first base, Jimmy. Okay, go. Here we go. God, I wonder what he says there. <laughs> I really wish there was a way I could know. This song I plays during the boss fights and this is so good. Hey, hurry up! I had no wave band or something. So cool. Never pu- Oh god, man, I was just about to say never punish, baby, but we are in fact... ...punished. Jimmy Baseball here written as what- My favorite is the one that says... Whatever the- Cow dollar? Cow dollar? Heavy- it, 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 It's like a complete nonsense phrase. If you Google it, I've only seen results from this game. Uh, where did, what is it? Heavy con dollar. C O N D A L L E R. True ending isn't that different from most runs because nobody's. Yeah, it, Suzuka, I've like pretty much never played as anyone other than Erica. This is like my fourth time playing it through. Erica is just like very obviously the best one. So what we need to do now, now that we've entered the maze, we're just about where we need to be to... Get, whoa! Get this guy killed. We have to get to the part where we see Bainbalo drag Kevin away. After that, we need to burn 20 minutes. And once we do, he'll be dead. And our mission will be accomplished. Yeah. 
Let's go. It's a joke that only works in Japanese. That's fair. Hug a wall, keep moving. We just need to get to the first. Yeah, here we go. So our trick here is that uh, the timer has now started for Kevin. Uh, however, uh, Banbala will not get you in this room. He will not attack you in the bathroom. He'll only attack us once we step foot back into the maze, which means that we're just going to stay here for 20 minutes and watch the pig racing or something and then pop back to the game. Back to my big old face. Thank you. All right, it's 6:20. At 6:40, it will be time to uh, resume ill bleed. Here we are. Let's go. isn't little Peppa Sanchez from Mexico. She's the smallest pig on the circuit, but don't let that fool you. She's been extremely quick in practice. Let's hope she can continue that form over the next few weeks and the next few months. And having said that, it is an extremely important week this week because it's the first ever week of the League of Pigs. All the pigs will be wanting to win the maiden race, which is moments away from starting. So let's see what happens. The pin moments away from being let's pulled. Let's do it. Ginger looks excited. The door drops and Ginger does get a good start, but so does Pepper Sanchez. And Pepper's out by a snout. This is season here. one, the yes. little Ginger Pig isn't going to let her off that easy. Who will win the maiden race? She's keeping up with the pressure. Is she going to do it to the line? And she does in 10.03, and it's a course record on account of it being the first ever race of the League of Pigs. Congratulations, Pepper, for scoring 10 points and getting Mexico its first victory. Ginger will have to settle for seven points. Smalls will get five points for his third. Hoshi waddles in in fourth and gets himself three points and Bear gets a point for finishing. Bear just seems happy to be part of this, I think. As the door drops, Ginger gets a good start but Pepper gets a better one and holds it all the way down to the line. There's pressure throughout but she holds a nerve and scores ten points. Smalls has to settle for third and get the last podium place. Hoshi waddles over and gets fourth and Bear, I'm not sure if she realises she's don't... in a race. <sighs> I but hate to say it, guys. I don't think they should have brought Bear up for the minor leagues. I don't think Bear is a good enough racer to compete with the other core four. He's the second biggest pig on the circuit. He's certainly the heaviest set. Hoshi has no neck at all. So he's a really heavy frame pig. Hell yeah. Very, very strong, but some Japan's people think he's finest. A bit too heavy and has weight issues. 
that's yet to be seen. But there's a lot of questions to be answered by Hoji this season. And as we head over to our second race, who will get their first ever win and join Pepper at the top of the table? Mushroom. All I'm Pepper saying is that maybe she would be better at being a sausage out. than a Ginger racer. Gets start and so does Hoshi, but Ginger gets a better one. Does Hoshi have anything to answer with? I don't think he does. I think he's dropping off the back, and I think Bear's taking advantage and trying to go for second here. But it's Ginger at the line, and it's 9:17, and it's another course record. That didn't take long. And Hoshi has to let's go. To be with you. I think he's lucky. Let's get the score. Bear was on his heels the whole way. I Eva! Position, which is unusual for Smalls. Tom and Risa, congratulations. It's a far cry from the first race for Pepper. They come out and Ginger has the best start. Hoshi has nothing to answer with and so it becomes Ginger's by default. And as they head over the line, Ginger gets 10, Hoshi gets 7, Bear gets 5 for 3rd, Smalls yeah. gets 3 for 4th and Pepper gets 1 for finishing. Oh and here's a crowd favourite, it's Ginger Hamilton from the UK. Yeah. She's a middleweight pig at 20... All right. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Pound for pound, Ginger Hamilton is the best pig in the league. No question. You could make arguments that the fact that they are larger, heavier pigs means that they are a better bet. But pound for pound, if we're, not, if we're talking about ability, we're talking about skill and drive on the court, I think it's got to go to Ginger Hamilton. I think there's no contest. Seven pounds. She has a lot of attitude, a big diva behind the scenes, but she's an excellent racer. So it's a privilege to see Ginger here today. Let's see how the third race goes. Jaw drops by Smalls, but it's Pepper who's got the jump and Pepper's out. Can Smalls respond? I think he is, and he is extending forward now, and I think he's going to solidify the win. Ginger's in the mix. Will she get second? No, Pepper holds her off. But it's 9.17 for the big man from the USA, and he equals the course Piggy record Smalls. of Ginger. What a way to answer back in that third race. Pepper defending her Wow, look how early this is. They don't even have the thing for the pigs for yet that separates them all while they eat. Congratulations, though, to Piggy Smalls with a fantastic middle section. Let's see that again. Smalls pushes the door down, but it's Pepper with the jump. But when Smalls gets into a rhythm, he really, really starts to rocket forward. God, and towards the later section, the win is his by quite some margin. Smalls Ginger is just once like... once again pipped to the post by Pepper and must be getting quite annoyed with her at this point. Good God. Oh, she has to settle for fourth. Oh, it's the big pig from the USA. It's Piggy Smalls as he rips a plant up from the paddock. And he'll need to eat that because he's got... All right, Piggy Smalls. Piggy Smalls is like the... Uh, is like the Dolph Lundgren in Rocky Three of pig racing. Uh, he is very, he's very good record. He's very good. But more, most importantly, he is huge. What a massive pig. Uh, to the point where it's like maybe there should be weight classes in this... Uh, but I digress. Uh, whew. Monster. Monster. And representing the U.S. of A. 35 pounds of weight to sustain. Easily the biggest pig on the circuit. He's very long. He's very wide. But he's quite strong. He's been doing very well in the middle sections of races in practice. Let's see if that's going to happen in season one. Ginger looks excited again. Oh! You can see Ginger popping her little head off. And Hoshi and Bear appear with a good start, but Hoshi has a better start, and Bear seems to fade. And I think Pepper's taking advantage of that and going I for like second. you can hear the Ginger's little pig the noises. As well, Piggy Smalls on the near side takes third. Oh takes man! Will he take oh first? man! No, he won't. Ooh, sure he all gets right. It. And it's 11-12. It's not the quickest race we've seen, but Piggy points Smalls is, is nasty. I, you know, maybe I'll switch sides. Maybe I'll become a Piggy Smalls stand. Smalls does extremely well from the poor start that he got to get second. So well done to him. I'm not sure who got third again. As the door drops, Hoshi and Bear appear, but Bear fades to nothing, and Hoshi capitalizes and gets the win. Pepper looks dangerous, but then Piggy Smalls comes on the near side, and he overtakes everyone but Hoshi to get second. I still don't know who's got third. Hoshi comes in, so does Smalls, and then Pepper once again beats Ginger to the line. We're joined by Bear Trotsky from Russia. Bear not having the best performance, it has to be set up until this point. But she's one of the lightest pigs at 21 pounds, and she's a bit taller than Pepper and a bit longer. So you would hope that that would really make the difference in pig racing. It's not seen so far, but a lot of potential maybe for Bear. 
let's head over to the fifth race out of seven. Door drops, Bear gets a good start, and so does Smalls, and Ginger's in the mix as well. And God, Smalls look at him. Oh, Bear my God. And it's an extremely quick race. I think we're going to see a very big time here by Bear. And it's 8.72. It's a new course record, smashing the previous one. Very also impressive. smashing the nine-second barrier. Congratulations, Trotsky. A pig until this point had no promise. Now comes in and gets the course record. It just shows how open this field is. Let's see that again. Is As the, the leading pig drops, named HelloFresh? Yes. Get good starts. Smalls looks dangerous, but then Bear really digs deep and pulls forward and gets her nose across in what is a fantastically quick race. I'm still not sure who got third and second. It's Smalls who gets third and Ginger second. And we're back with Hoshi, who's decided that the best way forward is to eat as many dandelions as he can before the next race. So true. Probably not a bad strategy, in fairness, given that he's 30 pounds and he's in the baking hot sun. He looks calm and collected as always. Let's see if this helps him in the next race. Let's go. The ultimate race of the week about to start. Pigs are jostling for position. Door taking an age to drop. And it's dropped by Sanchez. And Sanchez has a good start, but Ginger has a better start. Ginger, let's go! Ginger's turn to defend first. Ginger, let's go! Forward. Come on! The Mexican rival has anything to answer. Come on! I don't think Come it on. is. And I think Come it's on. Ginger who gets the second let's win. Let's fucking go! Prepares himself for the top of the league. Congratulations to the UK and Ginger for getting their second win this week. And I think she's going to stay there because she's had a quite a few second places as well. Oh, and there's a disagreement about food there. Let's see that again. The door taking a while to drop, but when it does, Sanchez yeah, pushes roll it, it down, back, roll it back, let's come on. Flies off as God, well and beautiful. It the Mexican rival, Bear just waltzing. Woo! Not really caring, very disappointed. God, look at her go. Ginger finally pips her rival at the line. Smalls bags the third place. And then Hoshi and Bear come over and Eon later. And we join the gang, all trying to get their body temperature low for this final race. Oh, she presumably off somewhere eating dandelions and going with that extra calorie strategy. Oh my Pigs god! Pigs love to wallow, and especially on a hot day like today. A lot of them will be trying to beat Ginger and see if they can propel themselves towards the top of the table. Welcome back, there, Soul Spartan. Looking for a bit of extra comfort. But only suffices to annoy Ginger. You can't help feel they'd be a bit more comfortable if they gave each other space, but there you go. And we're on to the final race. Will anyone catch up with Ginger? Bear trying to peek over the box. Let's go. Bear goes down. Bear does have a good start. So does Ginger. Oh, Hoshi Ginger, let's go. Well. But Piggy Smalls on the near side. Ah, uh, Piggy, nowhere, he's just too big, three. baby. And this is a phenomenal performance from the American who crosses the line. God, he's just victory, so big. My lord, what a middle section from Piggy Smalls. And to he's be like honest, a whole you, different the animal than the rest of them. Unknown. That has blown the competition wide open in week two. What a performance from the American there. As the door goes down, they all get a good start, but not particularly Piggy Smalls. But as he gets his bounce on, that momentum carries him all over. And he's just in a league of his own. He's a whole pig length away. What a performance. Ginger does well to get second, and so does Bear to get third. The race for third, more competitive than the race for first. Piggy Smalls is just... And as we close out week one, Ginger finds herself at the top of the table with 49 points, and that's due to five top two finishes. Smalls is in second at 45 points, and that's due to six podium positions. Pepper and Hoshi will have to settle for third at 32 points apiece, and Bear is at the bottom of the table on 24 points, and that's due to four last place finishes, but does have the course record, so there's some promise there. Join us in week two to find out who is one step closer to winning season one of the League of Pigs. Let's go ahead to the next one. But Bear responds, and it's an extremely quick... Just one moment. I'm going to make sure that we are progressing in our, uh, our timer counting down for our run.
Yes, we are. Very good. All right, we got more pigs to watch. One more pig video, and then we get back to the game. We we have to do this to burn time. We have to burn 20 minutes in game to make sure that somebody dies. So here we are watching pig racing. Let's do it. Race. I think we're going to see a very big time here by Bear. And it's 872. It's a new course record. As always, our stream is sponsored today by HelloFresh. Exclamation point HelloFresh. the second win and propels herself to the top of the league. But Piggy Smores on the near side comes out of nowhere and overtakes all three. Learn to cook with me. It's fun. We can show each other the things we learn to cook. You can learn to chop stuff up just like me. You can help out and become more self sufficient. Exclamation point HelloFresh. Suzuka, the 20 minutes is to make sure that Kurtzman dies. It's Little Bear Trotsky who walks into the garden, which is right next to the racing paddock. Bear is one of the more inconsistent picks, either getting a really quick time or doing nothing at all and coming in stone. We are going to do a live cooking stream next week. That's she the plan, at least. over to Ginger to see what's up and see if there's any really good grass around here. Pigs often do this technique. Anyway, let's get to the first race of week two. Oh yeah, Suzuki, it's, it's a very long time. I, I don't think they actually the want him to die. Move, You're supposed to save him. Quick, and Ginger realizes that and tries to go for an easy win. Smalls is going to have to keep up if he wants to keep his championship hopes alive. And Ginger gets it at the line. And it's the easiest win in Ginger's career. And Smalls did well to make sure that he minimized the damage. Hoshi will have to settle for third which is not very good given that he was the first mover. And Bear and Pepper, where were they? As the door goes down, everyone's asleep and Hoshi realizes that he's the first one to get out, but he doesn't maximize on it at all. And Ginger takes advantage and makes sure that she bags herself another 10 points. It's little Pepper Sanchez from Mexico. <laughs> Pepper was joint third with Hoshi at the end of week you're one. You're not a very good racer, but you're so cute. Race, losing out to Hoshi. A bit of an abysmal start for Pepper. She'll be looking to improve throughout the next few races and hopefully climb back to third or maybe possibly second. Let's see what happens in race two. The door Here drops and Bear gets a good start. So does Hoshi. But Ginger comes through the middle and she might have this all wrapped up, but no. Pepper Sanchez comes Ooh, on the near side, has whoa, a burst of speed, whoa, and finds whoa. herself in front and takes it at the line. Fantastic by wow. Pepper Sanchez. In week one, we saw her do this to Ginger a couple of times. Could that be a theme in week two? Very interesting race. As the door drops, Bear and Hoshi get good starts, but then Ginger punctures through both of them and looks like she's going to get the win until Pepper Sanchez has a burst of speed on the near side and takes it at the line again. Very, very good race from the Mexican. Small senses that he's falling behind in the overall standings and has to make sure he gets third. Mr. Oinku. Last week he was eating dandelions. This week he's eating long grass. We've seen Hoshi eat a lot, but what we haven't seen is Hoshi win a lot. Wow, Will brutal. Change that in week two. Fingers crossed for Hoshi over the next few races. Let's see the third race. The door goes down by Sanchez, who gets a good start, and so does Hoshi, but Piggy Smalls is in the mix as well. Ginger is looking dangerous at the back there, but Piggy Smalls has a burst of speed, and he might get his first win of week two, and he does in exactly 10 seconds. And finally, Piggy Smalls is starting to make ground on Ginger in the overall points competition. Ginger makes sure she doesn't slip too far away and still gets a podium position. Pepper does what she does best and beats Ginger at the line, and Hoshi Ginger ha is such like a finesse forth. racer, whereas... As they set uh, off, Pepper has the best start along with Hoshi. Piggy Smalls was always Piggy in the Smalls mix, is like the Wario strong in the latest of uh, League of Pigs. Just like dumb, heavy, but Bear it gets you can get really fast. Nowhere to be seen. A very poor performance from Bear. It's the points leader, Ginger Hamilton, who's done well to hold on to her lead in week two. <laughs> She got an easy win in the first race. In the second race, she managed to hold on and increase the points difference with her main rival, Smalls. But Smalls did win the last race. So she's got a real job on now. 
she's always calm but she's just trying to get those extra few calories in before the fourth race begins let's see how she does over the next four races it's yeah, it's Secret down. of Evermore, that's right. That's a good start. And so does Ginger and Bear's in the mix as well. But Piggy Smalls Fucking holds on. Gal. Ginger's putting pressure, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And Piggy Smalls gets his second win of week two. And it's the Close. fastest time of week two as well. You can't help feel that Piggy Smalls is really coming into his stride now as he chips another three points off Ginger's lead. We don't have track camera one and track camera two is a sorry state and doesn't tell the whole story. But Piggy Small starts off strong and he finishes strong and collects his second win of week two. It's so funny how few cameras and stuff it's they had Piggy early Smalls, on in this. Who's currently in the, the later seasons of this, it's like just before it's been they're really putting on the Ritz. He is currently trying to find the exit, which is right in front of him. He just, it's just there, Piggy Smalls. He's, oh, no, he's stupid he's too. He, he wants to get out. He's just like me and for real. Congratulations, Smalls. And we head over to the fifth race of seven. The door drops. The bear does get a great start. Piggy Smalls is also there. But look at the acceleration. There, look at Piggy that. Smalls as he passes My bear God. He's there. But Bear responds, and I think Bear might actually take it back off what? him. And she does. And that's an exceptional performance from the Russian. Wow. And it just shows how quick Bear can it's be. Exceptional performance she from the Russian. She robs Piggy Smalls of three wins in a row. And I think Ginger's very relieved at that. I don't think it would have been in Ginger's favour if Piggy Smalls had won again. Let's see that again. The door goes down and Bear does get the best start. And then Piggy Smalls does what he does best and accelerates in the middle section and looks like he's going to wrap it up. But then Bear responds and takes the win back off him. And that is a brilliant performance and an extremely interesting race for them. And Smalls will be out for blood now. It's Ginger and Pepper. These two are firm friends outside of the race course. Aww, They've been eating friends. all day today, so they're particularly happy. Ginger's probably the more stressed out of the two of them. She's starting to feel the pressure of Smalls. Yeah, she's a lot of a lot of our viewers offer. have said they really like Bear because she only There's wins when she feels like it. In the next two races, and we're on to the penultimate race of week two. Door drops. Here we go. And a lot of them get good starts, but Bear and Smalls particularly. But Smalls is pushing now, but Bear is also responding, and the pace is getting quicker, and I think this is a very quick race now. Where did, the, where did this bear, where was this bear last a third win group of races? Two. This is crazy. Even Smalls it's like a whole different pig. how quick that race was. That was a very fast pace, and yet again, Bear hits the mark and steps up to the plate and beats Smalls across the line. When they come out, Smalls and Bear start to have a bit of a grudge match and the pace gets quicker and quicker throughout. But yet Bear holds her own and just beats Smalls across the line. Let's see that again. It is so, so close. It's a fraction of a snap. Wow, photo it finish. It's still a win. And Bear gets the second win of week two. And the guys are together for the final race. Bear looking for that third win out of nowhere we would not have thought that in race four small's also going to be looking for his third that's eluded him for the last few races hoshi would just be happy with a single victory and ginger really needs to pull something out the bag if she's to stay on top in week two and we're on to the here's the thing, thing about ginger though is she doesn't miss, she doesn't win every race she the wins with points and they all get a good start she's like it's like okay she doesn't win every race but so it's second third second again, second first second a like grudge match to see who's gonna win when you see the, the points tell up that's the line, when you know and it's another sub nine second performance no other pick can do that only bear can and she's done it twice now let's just be honest and say that on her day bear is the fastest pick and make no mistake that today is her day even Smalls couldn't keep up with her at the punch. When the door drops, Smalls and Bear know exactly what they need to do and they waste no time in trying to execute it. But Bear's straight line speed is the determining factor and just pips Smalls yet again at the post. It's really impressive stuff. She's not going to be at the top God of the league because she's just too inconsistent. But she has proven something today. And here are the round two results. Smalls bags himself. Yeah, this is the true ending of Illbleed. No. Edgelord, 17 month reset. Thank you so much. Because of the consistency of having six podium places. I'm going to look at these scores real quick. We're actually, we're burning time because in order to get the true Illbleed ending, you need everyone to die. And the only way to make sure everyone dies is to wait 20 minutes after you spot Kevin for the first time in the maze with Banbalo. So we are burning a little time. 
But, uh, man, th this is not... I forgot how dominant Smalls is in season one. Just, like, absolutely no question, like, Smalls is just head and shoulders above everyone else at this point. Bear did get the most amount of wins this week, but didn't do much else and finds herself with 38 more points. And unfortunately, Hoshi and Pepper lag behind. Hoshi didn't get a single win this week, nor second, and that's really cost him. So what does that mean for the season overall? Well, Smalls rises to number one after a fantastic week two for him. Ginger drops down to second place. Bear rises from last to third after a fantastic last three races. Pepper clings on to fourth and Hoshi drops all the way to the bottom, having an appalling week in week two. Join us in round three to find out who is one step closer to winning season one of the League of Pigs. The Pig Papa, that's right. All right, I think we actually are at a point where our friend should be dead. So let's take a look back at the Ilvali. Let's hop back into the game. All right, I think he's dead now. Yeah, sometimes we do a quick pig interlude. Just to make sure, in case we messed it up, I don't want to have to start over. Alright, Bambala. Everyone loves the pig racing every time we put the pig racing on, so it's like my go-to if we have like a little time to burn. Like today, we I tried to figure out like how to fast forward through ill bleed so that we didn't have to wait that long and I couldn't figure out how to get it to work and it was like coming down to the wire and of course I'm talking to MK because MK is like the tech producer for the stream and helps with all that stuff and I finally am just like you know what don't worry about it I'll, I'll figure something out and, and I immediately just like let's queue up the piggies sometimes this stream is basically running a daycare yeah a little bit but I love I love all of my uh what would you call your the people you have at the daycare? Your your uh I love all of my victims. Hey, hurry up! Children, even better, yes. You guys are comically large or not? I can only assume. Described as comically tall. Yeah, my my instinct when I meet a guy who's like really tall, I'm like, wow, this is really, you know, I'm getting real comical vibes from this. That that's how that makes me feel. Just 
just whip his ass. Let's just completely beat his ass. This is basically Dark Souls. You know what I was playing yesterday? It's always a lot of fun to see how bad it looks. And the original Demon Souls? God, what a funny looking game. He should be dead. I'm hoping he is. Kevin is already dead! Mission accomplished! That's good. That's really good. We're doing great. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. We got dead Kevin. Here's the thing, though. I want dead Kevin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He's, like, he's voicing Sonic in heaven now. So true. God, the controls are insane. The fact that you have an iframe dodge in this is so funny to me. It's Dark Souls. They also the iframes start before your animation starts. Or maybe not technically, because she pulls her like arms and legs into her side before she does the dodge, and like maybe it starts then. But it, the functionally it looks like your things are just passing through you. Control room. Can you hear me? This is Control Operator Jackson. I repeat, this is Control Operator Jackson in the control room. Our oil pressure is normal here. Average electric current is 52,000 volts. Generating capacity of 2,700,000 watts. 10 4, main control room here. Checking the database now. Hold on a second. The pressure on the leg is a bit too high. I bet it's the right leg. Last time I checked, it was a bit rusty. That's all right. It's still within control parameters. And what are you planning to do for dinner tonight? I'm starving. I think I'll have fish or something. At this point, meat doesn't sound too appetizing. <laughs> yeah, we got enough meat laying around over here to feed an army of rats. Help! So true. Stop right there. This area is restricted to authorized personnel only. Please, I can't fight that horrid beast myself. I know. Isn't that cool? We spent five million dollars to build this enormous thing we call Banball. It's super alloy skeletons controlled with advanced hydraulics with custom bearings and joints. You're looking at two meters of thick titanium for every bone. All computer controlled by me. <laughs> How'd you like that big sucker, eh? This guy loves killing children at this job.
The Minnesota Firers is the team. <laughs> he was also part of the attraction. What a twist! That doesn't make like a ton of sense, but that's okay. Let me get his ID card. Now we might as well heal ourselves up so we get the best score. Using this item called an Amazon for some reason. Unclear why that's why that's called that. I was getting a yeah, I was saying I was getting a sixth sense detection of something. Something's in here. How are you detecting success? Seems like you're detecting something here, but... Huh. I'm sure it's done for it. Yeah, most of the boss battles are like weird animatronics going on the fritz. This game really walked so that Five Nights at Freddy's could run. Yeah, it's not a murder because he's a robot, precisely. They were too scared to let an 18-year-old girl be the guy to death with the bat in the first level. Nora is ho. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on board. Why design a robot to talk about meals on the radio? To get out the word for these great HelloFresh deals we have. Simple as. Use exclamation hit HelloFresh in the chat to help support the stream. Get some meal prep. I've done two meal preps already. I did one today. It was great. I made couscous. I learned how to make couscous. I don't even know what couscous is, but it was very good. did have a child killing robot, that is true. Your first HelloFresh stuff came yesterday? Hell yeah! I got mine over the weekend. This is the peak platforming. Our HelloFresh kit does contain pogs. It's pog to get HelloFresh. It's that simple. I got salmon also. The salmon I got was really good. I really like salmon though. It's like one of those things I don't eat as much as I wish I did because like my wife doesn't really know how to cook it. She's a good cook. It's just like not something we normally have. So it was really cool to like learn a, uh, a salmon recipe from HelloFresh. I probably will do another one next week. You get to pick what food you get every week so you can change them up and stuff. I'll probably, next week, I'll probably pick another Sam I want if I can get away with it. It's a good question, Diesel Shot. I want to say, pr say probably yes, but you will have to watch and see because this is my first time, too. Your prize is... As you see, our clear time is garbage. But we had to be to beat this one properly. Up, oh, yep. Yeah. Our clues are just starting to get some little rips and tears, I see. Our bra strap, our cleavage is starting to come out. Yeah, we're getting started. 
Yeah, I thought for sure it was gonna like tear like at least after the boss fight. No, it's just like after you finish, she just gets so she grieves so hard at her dead friend she tears the clothes. We've all been there. Nora, this is a Sega Dreamcast game. Um, technically, this this is a, an emulated copy because this game is a little janky and it's it's there's parts where the save states help us do it in a timely manner. But we do have a physical copy for the stream that we do often stream. And uh, thank you so much to our viewer who donated their copy of Illbleed to the stream, which is an incredible gift for the stream and super awesome. And probably like the I guess the technically the the Resident Evil Chainsaw controller is like the most valuable piece of memorabilia that we get to showcase on the stream. But Illbleed is a close second. It's very exciting that we get to have access to it. Thank you again. You like don't use the horror monitor in this one. There we go. We're we're loaded now. We, we're fully upgraded, so we don't really gotta worry too much. We just go in here and buy a bunch of healing items. go to Revenge of the Queen Worm and continue to not rescue our friends. An RV campsite has been turned into a morbid morgue covered in blood and the remains of numerous unidentified bodies. It's hard to believe that such a brutal massacre could have happened in this day and age, especially at such a secure location. It only took the rescue crew 20 minutes to respond to the emergency call. But by the time they arrived, it was too late. There were no survivors, and consequently no witnesses. So the mystery remains. Who or what could have done this? It seems too massive and malicious for a single human to have done it. Ooh. Or several, for that matter. There were dark forces at work here, and no one's talking about it. It happened four days ago, and the place has been dead quiet ever since. Everyone's too scared to stay up playing with a worm. Oh, Lurking Horror activated worm playing mode. Uh, everyone play with they worms. To the challengers. It's too dangerous to enter alone. The camping site is closed now, but you cannot go back. We hope for a miracle for you to handle the incident and return safe and sound. hunt too hard for items, uh, all things considered, because we just don't need them this run. So the monkey's gonna take our horror monitor and take off with it. No! My horror monitor! Give it back! Is 
your streams, change names and pronouns last time you fall. Oh, congratulations, Nora. Happy for you. Wow, you can post a lot of worms. Erica, I guess, does not have torn clothes during the cutscenes, probably. They're probably pre-rendered, if I had to guess. <laughs> also, yeah, also the heart monitor lets you see girls naked for some reason, we find out here. It's never brought up again. The horrid ape leering at the nude girl is me and Tess. T Tess is the one leering. To where I'm supposed to get my lead pipe, though. I'm gonna go back and get that. While I don't need many items, the lead pipe would make this a little less frustrating. Yeah, narrow escape. I think it's up there. The, yeah, the, the fact that you use a helicopter to escape, despite that there's, like, no reason there should be a helicopter, uh, simply, I, I don't know why either. If I had to guess, maybe it was, like, mechanically left over from an earlier draft of this game, uh, where a helicopter would have made more sense. Because if you look at the other games that this guy made, like Deep Fear and Blue Stinger, and both of those are, like, military-type guys, and, like... Provided you were in a setting where a helicopter could get there, it would make sense for there to be helicopters in both either of those worlds. Uh, and it makes me wonder if maybe this started off as a more conventional Resident Evil clone type game, and it's like a mechanically a relic of that or something. Fuck this. I'm not- I I've had enough beaten my worm. I'm out of here. I no longer wish to beat my worm. I now wish to be happy. I believe the creator started on Deep Fear, yeah. I believe he made Deep Fear, then Blue Stinger, then this. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Could have had Chris Redfield having all his clothes get torn off and getting naked. Or, or Leon Kennedy.
play as Randy or Kevin in this one. The monk killer is using the heart monitor to look at them naked too. But I like that. I like the idea that the monk killer, the monk killer here is just, is here to see people naked. It, it is like, it is not no gay stuff. It is nope. It's like nope. Whatever, whatever you have for me. I'm here to see supple young flesh, says the monk killer. Thrasher, welcome. Based monk killer, that's right. Take a dip in the pool. Wow, alright. Flex your pool privileges on us, but okay. You never invited me to go in the pool, but whatever. It's fine. You can go do that. I'll allow it. I think that if you're gonna go in the pool, there should be enough pool for the whole chat. That's just my stance. Exactly, you gotta share with the class. I hope you brought enough peanut free uh, cupcakes for everybody. I hope you brought cupcakes that can be had by our students with seed oil uh, sensitivities. I'm in a pool today too. That sounds great. I wish I had a pool. I took a bath today. That was pretty cool. Really like languished, you know, really just vibed in it for a couple hours. It was really nice. A couple hours is too long, like an hour. Yeah, I did a couple laps around the bath. It was nice. Do I not bathe every day? I don't take a bath every day. Usually I just take a shower. Nora, I don't shower like every day, but I shower, my I'd say I shower like five days a week. The days that I don't are days that I'm just like, maybe I showered late the day before and I didn't really do any going outside or something like that. If I'm just like sitting around like typing on my computer all day and I showered the night before, I might I might try to stretch an extra day or something, but I, I generally like to stay pretty clean. Yeah, I... Edgelord, I've heard that, Edgelord. I find that it's, it, I need a little bit more, otherwise I get a little stinky. I'm really, I moisturize my entire body after every shower, so it helps with that. Uh, Angsty, are you talking about the cupcakes that like they have behind the counter where they have like the big cupcake and you look at the calorie count and it's like three days? Uh, cause I feel the same way. The trick is you get the, uh, you get the little ones that are like supposed to be for kids to take to their like school. Like they're all like only this big. They're great. They're just, they're like 200 calories a pop. You pop one of those in your mouth. It's like perfect. Just a little bit of sweet. Perfect little treat size. 
Oh, man, not another drunk worker. I can't even stand looking at you. Get out of here. Don't ever come back. You hear me? I do hear you. Milk for under three dollars. Yeah, with a bargain, right? What brand is this gas station? Leg gas. Legateru. And let's see. What does that say? There are two kinds of gas are regular and super lega? Oh, is it like a Blue Stinger reference? That makes sense. These guys love to reference their work on Blue Stinger. Legoshi opens again. I love uh, B-Star. At least I liked the first season a lot. I haven't seen anything since then. But I loved the first season of B-Stars. I saw that- I saw B-Stars on a list of, like, red flag le media for men to like. It was like, bro, a woman wrote B-Stars. Baby bottle of tans. Commander Kiri with the follow, welcome aboard. Echo Boss, welcome back. Nora, I don't know what you mean. What, what, what's the thing the big worm looks like? I, I couldn't possibly imagine. This game is now abandoned. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they, they after the director passed, they opt, opted not to port it to the Xbox. Apparently because they didn't want to do anything without his blessing. But I feel like, I don't know, if I died and I worked really hard in the game, I'd rather you like put it on a console where people actually played it. Wait, that's... I was looking for that. It's my dear Rachel's nursing bottle. Oh, how I miss those days. Oh, the company dissolved out and buying the rights? That's sad. She'd look up at me. Oh, I guess you're not from the Drought Corporation. Please, come inside. I have something to tell you. Yeah, Suzuki, I, I think they were like, this is not going to be profitable enough. It's a shame because uh, the Xbox is so perfect for a uh, Dreamcast port. It has almost the same controller. It's got the same button layout. It just has like a, an extra joystick and a couple more buttons. I think at the time that this happened, uh, Suda and Grasshopper weren't really a thing yet. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Ever since the Drond Corporation cheated me, I've had a hard time trusting anyone. I apologize. By the way, I want to ask you a favor. You seem decent and trustworthy. It's about my beloved Rachel. I wrote the details in my will. It's all right here. Okay. Please, I'll please, check it out. Will ya? Please. Dave's note obtained. I'll hang myself from the water tower tonight. If you read this, I'll be around the first block of hell. I have good memories of the worm business. There's just one thing on my mind. Rachel. Without me, 
What will happen to her? You surely suffer from hunger. So I'd like to ask you a favor. Kill Rachel. So I can be together with Rachel in the next world again. This is the best for us. Now kill her exactly the way I tell you. Burn her with a flamethrower. No other way, okay? This may sound cruel, but you'll see why soon. I really need you to do this favor. I'm asking. No, I'm begging you. About the flamethrower, I keep one I was using for weeding in a secret place. I don't want Duranto to find it. I'm taking the memo that shows the secret place with me. Find it on my body. Well, I'll go wait for Rachel around the second corner of hell. David Rodriguez. I want, yeah, I need somebody to make a, uh, a reproduction of this painting for the stream room. Rachel actually goes to toy hell. Well, well, Rachel would only go to toy hell if she got buried with a kid. Remember, you gotta get buried with a kid to get to toy hell. Otherwise, you just go to regular hell. This will all be plot important later, so make sure you commit this to memory. Mutant worms. It came from the underground. Wow, that's so true, Nightbot. If you're enjoying the stream, you can make a donation to help keep it running. And by using our donation link, 100% of it goes to the streamer, and none of it goes to Jeff Bezos. That's so true. Oh no. Yeah, it's the murder babes, precisely. <laughs> Echo Bass, it seems like you're jumping to a lot of conclusions about who Rachel may be. He never said it was his girlfriend. The answer may perhaps surprise you. I buried it in the ground in front of the movie billboard. You can see the sign through the work hut window. The fact that his body is still here, he's just a skeleton now, is ridiculous. She falls down if you don't tag the fight. Like, if, uh, because you know, you know I, like, if I can detect something, I can tag it my horror monitor. If I do that, it, I won't fall down when the fight starts. However, I don't have my horror monitor right now. Dave's Diary 1. I bought a worm from a vendor so I could raise worms for sale. The vendor brought me his last worm. That worm was you, Rachel! You are more special than any of the other worms I knew. Rachel is the name I wanted to give my daughter. Now, go, and have lots of babies. Help me make some money. Something terrible happened to Rachel today. It was my fault. I still don't know what happened. But as I was playing with her under the tree, as usual, as I was playing with my worm, 
she somehow slipped from my hands and fell into a gas tank that I guess I also had with me under the tray. Uh, I picked her up right away. I thought she would die after being soaked in so much gas. I was terrified. Strangely, she started sucking the gas off her body. She never did weaken. How bizarre that my little girl did such a thing. All I can do now is look after her. It seems Rachel is growing too fast since the gasoline accident. Now all I can do is feed her as much gasoline as she desires. She gets bigger and bigger with each day. And she doesn't look like a worm anymore. It is okay to get big, but her size is beginning to scare me. She is in good shape, though. I'm getting worried about her. She outgrew me in ten days. Her reproduction rate is ten times higher than any other worm. Her babies are of high quality, and they sell well. Well, I did get my wish of wealth and happiness. Bring on more worms, Rachel. Rachel? Please, burn Rachel, please. That giant worm is Rachel? French obtained. Is there something else? Oh, bye, body. Cool. So now we have to unscrew all of the, the dummy man posters. Wrench down all. Oh, really? No, I thought I had wrenched down all the dummy mans. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, I was just not hitting the right collision point for it. We unscrew some bolts. So I have a shirt. Uh, I have a short vacation coming up in September. I'm going to the beach with my parents, which is very cute and wholesome of me. Uh, but I've been thinking about like, you know, I gotta take a week off for it uh, in September. And how to- uh, Don't me, man. Don't me, man. Knock down. Yeah, no, I know, I knocked down the dummy mans, okay. But I've been thinking about how to, you know, that that's a week of me not streaming, which is what I do for money. Uh, how to fill that gap, and I was thinking, uh, Maybe we do a subathon and we summer subathon. We haven't had a subathon in a while. I think it may be time. I was considering ruining my life and having the potential for a 24 hour straight subathon. Oh, I could do it. You're right. I could do it. I was thinking about. Be doing a be shame. My par my parents and I get along very well. Yes, I have a very good relationship with both of my parents. I'm thinking twenty four hour subathon might be the call at some point in August. I'll probably need, like, a bunch of time to recover, but, uh, I figure if I do it on, like, a, uh, maybe I'll do it on, like, a Wednesday, and I could take Thursday off, and between Thursday and the weekend, I could probably be back by Monday. 
I think I have to sleep for like two days. I'm sorry to hear that, Bass, though. I'm glad he's not around. David, you piece of crap. You always made fun of us Drawn employees. Yeah, I think uncapped subathon is like a psycho thing to do. I think if I think if I'm already on for 24 hours straight, uh, RB, the goal is just forcing me to be on for 24 hours straight. You know. But no, I. I'm not going to... Yeah, exactly. Uncapped something on that I call in 24 hours. I, I said to Jesse, I tried to warn them. I was like, you know, if, if you say uncapped subathon, you're just never going to be able to stop streaming ever, right? Like, pe people won't ever stop. Like... All you need is, like, one person to show up and be like, oh, man, it'd be so funny if I dropped 100 bucks. Uh, and, and you have enough viewers that eventually... You'll just be stuck there forever because of that. Yeah, time debt clock now. That's so funny. Oh wait, I forgot we can't hurt Rachel. I need to. I need to run away. I'm fighting her like a normal enemy out of just like muscle memory because I got so caught up in talking about uh, Dead Blossom Jesse ruining their own life. I'm glad to hear that Jesse also has like a million uh, rewards now that he has to like uh, pay back, just like me. Mine are all from uh, charity fundraisers, though. But hey, we're doing one of the. Uh, this is one of our charity goals, so. It'll be true ending. This is like one of the only real platforming parts of the game. Uh, it's not good. It's it doesn't feel good to do. It's just it's not good. <laughs> but we soldier on. I don't have billions of dollars in stream debt. No, I try to keep myself out of debt. I don't even own a credit card or anything. That said, I did. Uh, I did pull some money out of the old stream fund recently to get some lavalier mics and a, uh, a laptop so that we can do some more streams in places other than just at this specific desk that I'm at right now. So I'm gonna have to be paying that back for a little bit, but you know, replenishing that fund. Yeah, I don't have any credit. Yeah, exactly. It's not, not like I can afford a house, so it doesn't really matter. My wife's got good credit, so... We just use her credit. Look who's no longer invincible. Come on, show me your worm, Rachel. Exactly, worms one weakness, the flamethrower. How do I own a car? I don't own a car. I live in the city. 
But also, you can just get a used car. I've never owned a new car. I, just buy, I used to just buy used cars on Cra uh, Craigslist back when I had cars. Now I just don't have one at all. I'm all public transit, baby. I'm train-pilled and bus-pilled. Eat a balanced diet. That's so true. That is the moral of the story. If you want to eat a balanced diet, I recommend checking out our HelloFresh sponsorship. Fresh ingredients delivered to your door with a recipe every week. Learn how to cook. Help out your house. Become more self-sufficient. If you're somebody who knows maybe you're not eating as well as you should, but you don't know how to learn how to eat better, check out HelloFresh. Exclamation point HelloFresh in the chat. Plus you get 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts by using our code. And you help support the stream. All right. Philly has okay transit. Uh, I live very close to a very major artery of public transit now though. So I like have great public transit right now. Best I've ever had living in Philly. Thank you. I, you know, I, I got into streaming. I was like, you know, community building and like playing my favorite games. It's all fun, but I really, I really want to get good at ad reads. That's the thing I want out of my content creation career. By God, I'm going to get it. Finished off. Here we go. Grandpa! Rachel! I have missed you all so. You appear to be okay. Oh, that's a relief. At last, we can be together forever. Let's go back to hell. Hey, you, young one. What the Thank fuck? you. I'll never forget your kindness. Let's go back to hell. Oh, yeah, are you from Philly? Too? Yeah, I, I am a Philly local. Born and bred. Technically, I, uh, I was raised in New Jersey, but I was born here and I was bred here. So, to save our friend, we go down here and she's in a, uh, she's being accosted by three monk killers while unconscious in a garage. However, we're not going to be saving her from those monk killers. We're going to be putting Gas's car just dipping. Was the worm monster human once? No. It, it was just his daughter uh, who was a literal worm that he adopted so he could breed it to make more worms to get rich. Clear! Let's go, baby! We're doing fine. We have clothes on still, kinda. I love that, that. Yeah, he was he was literally 
playing with his worm. That's what all this. Ha if he wasn't playing with his worm, none of that stuff would have happened. March of the Slunks. I love this game. I'm so glad that, uh, people like it so much. It's such a shame the creator passed away before he got a chance to do more nonsense. Yeah, this game's so strangely horny. See, that's the that's the good good you can only get by the combination of horror fans and uh, people who very clearly like anime. To get a Japanese anime fan and a horror fan together in a room, oh, you know it's gonna go off. You know the horny is gonna be extra uncomfortable. Uh, Suzuka, it's like, isn't it, it's like, your heart rate can drop if you're bleeding extremely badly, right? Isn't that, like, the only time it matters? It's something like that? Finest, fastest chainsaw man has ever seen. That chainsaw instantly would tear through wood with a nice clean cut and would make him the envy of anyone in the lumber business. He knew just the tree to cut to prove the merits of his product. It was 800 years old, huge, gnarly, and tough as nails. He took a picture of himself in front of the tree and then started to saw. Suddenly a face appeared on the tree and it swallowed him. He was presumed lost in the wilderness or eaten by a bear. No one cared because he was a loner anyway. <laughs> New workers took over the mill and everything went smoothly until seven years later when a hundred workers mysteriously a disappeared. A hundred? The relatives of the missing workers soon began receiving wooden boxes. The moment they opened them, a maniacal wooden doll jumped out and chased the terrified families. They used pans, sticks, or hammers to smash the dolls as best they could. Ironically, those wooden dolls spewed blood, and this freaked the people out even more. They called them wood puppets, and hoped they had seen the last of them. Nora, I can't make fun of the, the uh, image where the guy is holding up the sign that says bread next to his wife bent over like a cow, uh, because... If it was, like, not a straight couple, we'd all be saying it's based, so I feel like, out of fairness, I have to be like, well, actually... To the challengers, Blake break into the McLaughlin lumber mill and solve the enigma of the wood puppets. Also, prove what happened in the disappearance of McLaughlin. Only one choice, after uh -huh. all. <laughs> yes, all the levels start with a monologue that explains it. Yes. That is correct. find this to be the most unnerving chapter of the game. No, I could see that. Especially if you're somebody who finds like transformation stuff uncomfortable. 
this this level really heaps it on. So if it's like not your bag, I could totally see how somebody would be unnerved by it. What happened to her clothes? This is part of the true ending. Every time you beat a level and don't save your friends, after beating the game and saving all of your friends, some of your clothes disappear. Yeah, video games are great. Love gaming. McLaughlin Museum. The music is actually pretty cool in this game, I have to be honest. It's like really, the more I've played it, the more I'm like, you know, a lot of these songs actually bang. Cool. cool. Gather weapon. Hello, my name is George McLaughlin. I came to this beautiful forest seven years ago as a woodcutter. That's really all I knew how to do. A drunk person's idea of a French Canadian accent. I've told you guys the story about when I was in uh, Quebec, right? And the guy called me uh, called me a homophobic slur, and I said, uh, "You're literally French." One of the uh, one of, perhaps maybe not one of the smarter things I've ever done. That guy probably uh, there was like a good chance he probably would have tried to beat me up, but uh, I did say that. Karn, welcome. It's funny, I got to say it again, you know, 10 years later to the hell dude. Yeah, we're being ill and we're bleeding. And as you may notice, we are also stripping down because we are doing the true ending run where you lose all your clothes. Cool. Don't apologize for Quebec. I mean, I went. I was at like a punk rock festival, so like. Maybe random Quebecers were like kind of or whatever the word is for you guys, Quebecois or something. Uh were dicks to me, but all the all like the Quebec punks were super cool. It was just a lot of them being like, Oh, is this uh how's you how's you like Quebec? And I'm like, Oh, it's it's nice, man. It's I I'm actually not old enough to drink uh in the States, but I'm old enough to drink here because I was like nineteen or twenty. And they were, they'd all be like, oh, let, let me get you a drink then. I was like, oh, you guys are great. No, it was only when you get like some of, I, I don't think I've ever been called a homophobic slurs so many times in such a short period anywhere. And this was like before I came out, I was just like a, a regular twink. I like had a girlfriend, like, but I guess since I had a I had a tall mask friend and I was small and effeminate, everyone just assumed we were a couple and we got heckled a lot. Hey, 
we go. The Randy box. Thank you. <laughs> Artificial brain obtained. If you want to learn it to connect with your sister, it doesn't even have to be useful where you're moving. It's just like that in and of itself is a good enough reason. Does this mode get harder? There is a basically like a whole nother level, I'm pretty sure, or at least another part with more shocks and stuff that's the hardest in the game after you beat it again. But most of the game, we are just is the same. But you can fly through it uh, when you already know where everything is, and you don't need to watch all the cutscenes and stuff. Like we ended at Queen Worm the first time we did this. We're probably gonna finish Wood Puppets today. I gotta hammer out the details, but I'm considering finally uh, doing the big wife reveal for the stream and having my wife on the stream soon. She says she generally enjoys being an enigma to you all, but she is open to the idea. Ooh, Hydra's got a idea. Also, I'm gonna turn my AC on. It's a little toasty in here. Be right back. We're back. Yeah, I think we're gonna do, do the old wife unboxing. Uh, the they are the levels are I guess technically vignettes, but they are connected narratively by the fact that this is all taking place within Michael Reynolds' virtual horror land, Illbleed, a uh, basically a haunted house. Haunted house type experiences are really really popular in Japan. And it, in fact, there was a another haunted house simulator based on the Grudge that came out on the Nintendo Wii. Like, it's a lot of made, like jokes made about it in America, but uh, people love haunted houses in Japan. I don't know what to say. Looking good, sounding great. How are you feeling? I am feeling good today. B2 line, confirming defrost. And it's just we see the bodies get skinned. But we run up here to the sleeping woodcutter and we steal his wood. Let's do it. Bring it on! It's combat time. We'll see who's the real woodcutter. And who's the item on the tree. Yeah, it's basically a haunted house game, but it's like uh, it's like self-aware about it. It plays with it a little bit. It's not like a straight haunted house simulator. Uh, but there are more straight haunted house simulators. Like somebody said there was like a, uh, uh, the Jew on yeah exactly the Jew on the Grudge one. Whoa! 
In the worst game, that would just kill you instantly. A hundred! With the four month reset, thank you so, so much. Splatterhouse. You know, Splatterhouse is one of those ones that like I missed as a kid, so I need to go back and play it. Uh, let's get my hands on the old turbo. I'll break out my Turbo Graphics 16 that we all have. Body assembly line open. Lumber coating angle adjusted. Shoulder width. This is the thing, the machine that turns you into a wood puppet. Yeah, I heard there was a, a 3D sequel. Um, I like uh, I like the content of what's his name, uh, Derek. Stop skeletons from fighting, and he's always defending that game. Yeah, I like that he has a, a frame picture of himself in there. Game's going great, Pixel Pixie. I've had a really good day. I had a nice workout, and then I took a long bath of Epstein salts. I like, I love to take my Epstein salt baths. Um, and then I cooked a dinner for me and my wife. Technically, it was my lunch, but it's her dinner uh, with my HelloFresh this week, which was really nice. And it's nice to be able to like learn how to cook and stuff and help out around the house like that. I'm not much of a cook, so I'm like learning a lot by doing the HelloFresh. Uh, and so I did that, and then I put on my little jumpsuit, and here I am. It was really nice. It was a great day. My hit points are low. Eats a couple salads. There we go. You play this with a guy? No! Uh, only... is it You can't play as anyone else, because you have to let all the other... Uh, playable characters die in order to get the true ending, so... Uh, no, they wouldn't get naked, but because you wouldn't even have the choice to choose them, because they're all dead. What was the wood code again? Three, two... Okay, it's nine, six, six, three. Free. We've done it. Listen up, my wood cutting slaves. You'd better be careful when you start tossing those humans in here. It's easy to slip. And then, wham, you'll be a wood puppet too. I don't think you'd like that now. Ah. Well, okay. Time to become a wood puppet now. Elements. That's a good point. We do have a HelloFresh deal going on. That's so true, Tree Melons. We can get some more fresh ads in the audience. Alright, let's forge onward. So, I've gone over this before, but the speedrun strat here is that there are a bunch of woodcutters that you have to square up with, and but they freeze for like a second or two every time you pause the game or use your map. Which means that you can pop in and out of your map, freeze the enemies. Oh man, Car I remember seeing the cutscene for Quake 4 when that first came out as a kid and being like, you know, the same way I feel about all horror media, which is like, I, it's, I'm terrified of this, but also intrigued. Cool. Uh, 
Can you use I never know this. I have this on the original Dreamcast. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, fire bad is right. I did not watch the Netflix Resident Evil yet. I, I was hurt so much by the movie adaptions that I'm scared to watch the new adaption. Erico Christi, and you're 18 years old. From this point on is a hunting area. There are a lot of woodcutters who'd love to axe you wood puppets into little pieces. If you manage to make it through the hunting area alive, you'll turn back into a human again. Remember, as wood puppets, you can't jump. Here's a list of so people true. taking part in today's adventure. These friends will go to hell and back with you, so stick together. Take the list with you if you want. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get going! The hunting's already begun. Alright. Lance Reddick plays Albert Wesker. It's just... Resident Evil is still like quintessentially like a video game plot. I, I have such a hard time imagining it translating well. But we're seeing some positive reviews in the chat. I heard that in Resident Evil series on Netflix, they talk about Zootopia porn. That's that's an improvement, though. They should talk about Zootopia porn way more in the actual series. See, I would watch the Sam Raimi Resident Evil. That would be good. I can't wait for... Yeah, give me Sam Raimi's Ill Bleed. Why not? So I'm keeping him at bay. As you can see, he's. I'm still being followed by that uh, woodcutter. I'm keeping him at bay because whenever I pause the game, he freezes for a second or two. I, however, can start up immediately. <laughs> Car, yeah. The Zootopia porn becomes like inextricable from the plot. It's like essential. It was me, Chris. I took down the rule forty-three, rule thirty-four. Dot Pahil. Dot to make sure you wouldn't have access to Zootopia porn. Let's see you stop my bio weapon now. Oh, <laughs> 
My experience with most uh, video game adaptions, like horror video game adaptions, is that they usually will be some really great monster designs, some really great rubber suits or whatever made that look really like the monsters are really cool. Most of the rest of the stuff is usually lacking. Monster designs though are usually pretty cool. So I usually just like to pop in, give them a single watch, see if there's any cool monsters, and then not take it too seriously. For example, the second Silent Hill movie. Not a good movie. Uh, however, their depiction of a like dull monster, the, the like mannequin monster, excellent. Uh, Nora, the Silent Hill movie is like, I wouldn't call it good, but it's fun enough that I think it's worth a watch. And the Im there's enough interesting imagery that I think it's worth a watch. The ritual, god, the monster design in the ritual is exceptional. Really one of the best monster designs that anyone's ever come up with. You know they knew it was a good design because of how much they show you of the monster. They're like, yeah, no, no, we actually don't need to hide this monster. This thing is just so good that... And they're right, they basically like full shot show you it. Usually that's a horrible move in a horror movie, but like... The monster of the ritual is so well done, you're just like, oh, no. Oh, God. You know what movie I remember also having fun designs? Frankenstein's Army. You might only know about Frankenstein's Army because uh, the creator of it filed a lawsuit against Resident Evil Village for the design of one of the guys from Resident Evil Village, which is extremely reminiscent of a guy from Frankenstein's Army. But uh, it's a good movie. It's a lot of fun. Or at least the monster designs are good. I don't remember the movie. I didn't see you can play as Heisenberg, but that's sick. I saw you could play as uh, the Lady Dimitrescu, who uh, we all had a bit of an obsession with back when that came out on this channel. It, Resident Evil Village is great because they hit all of like the most common fears with their four villains, you know? Dolls. Water, women, Nicolas Cage. I, I should play Village again. It's been a while. Lady, you play as Lady D, you can't see, see down past her tits. She's just like me for real.
So, normally to save Randy, we go this way. However, we want Randy to die, so we were not going that way. Go down around the corner. All right, cool. We're getting close. Yeah, I heard that they're adding a third-person mode, which is kind of crazy. Uh, does that mean they're going to canonize what uh, Ethan looks like, actually? Wow, it seems like I've kind of beaten your ass. Yeah, wow, it seems like I've bodied you. The wood puppet attacks are great. The voice actor for Randy is unknown. God, this game is so, is such like lost jank. Nobody like knows anything about this dang game, or everyone who does is like scattered all over the place. Oh, good luck getting your cool flat. Yeah, the rent the market's just crazy right now. I'm I'm very fortunate. I got myself locked into a two year lease, uh, like a couple months ago. And God, I'm just so glad not to worry about it for a little bit. There's already a, Nora, there's already a housing bubble. There's like one of the worst housing bubbles in a very long time. It's already happening. The house that I'm living in, the guy was trying to sell for four hundred thousand dollars. I'll tell you what this place is not worth. As nice as it is, almost half a million dollars. Yeah, the bubble's exactly. The bubble's not popping anytime soon. Ooh, my heart rate is really, really bad. Let's fix that. My heart rate is at 203. I didn't even know it could go that high. Nitroglycerin. Nice steak dinner. There we go. Yeah, exactly. In the United States, uh, the United States housing is now like Spotify. There's no way to own housing anymore. You can only rent it. It is a subscription service. why landlords are yeah landlords are like you, you know, regardless of anyone's like political affiliation you can ask most normal people be like yeah how you feel about your landlord and they're gonna be like oh that guy fucking sucks it's just like you a universally hated group of people
all shitty. Karn, that's true, but here's the thing. They're also not nice. in case we die. But we shouldn't. We have, we're max out stats and everything. Let's do it. Alright. go now we got this Woo! two you get two hits and then you gotta go for the dodge all you gotta do is not get greedy of course at times easier said than done but no no I got I got greedy and I got punished Team on Teresa, thank you so much. Yeah, this is the curse rod and green one, precisely. Echo Bass, probably just like another half hour or so. Looks like the discourse shot me. <laughs> Might as well heal everything. Alright, bring my heart rate down too. Might as well just get like the perfect score. There's no reason not to. And we didn't save Randy, baby. Oh, this is the wrong lo the long run out that somebody mentioned earlier in the chat that people bleed out on. This is cruel. Yeah, yeah time to get filthier and or neuter. My prize is. Echo Pass, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I'm I'm more naked, all right. I am the second most naked you can be, probably.
Thanks for hanging out, Bass. Yeah, exactly. I don't have much else. There is one tier more naked than this. I know that. Because I tried to post a picture of it in the Discord, and Discord wouldn't let me. Nora, I understand. I, I agree. I also like looking at hot people. Uh, the thing about not liking objectification, I don't agree. I think objectification rules. But we do relate on one thing. Yet yeah, none of the prices have been translated from yen, so that everything is like, oh, one salad? Uh, $1,000, please. And it's like, okay. Seems like a good deal. The Discord auto mod is awful. Why is Discord determined to go the way of Tumblr? So we probably won't finish this one, but I figure we'll, we'll get a little ways into it, and then we can probably finish this uh, whole run tomorrow. Another banger track. There was a big blowout sale going on at the Cashman department store, which needed something to bail it out of heavy debt. What seemed like a sale was actually a deadly disguise for a mass murder by store manager Donald Cashman, who freaked out after a run of bad business. He killed all of the customers and stole their money and valuables in his warped mind. In his warped mind, he figured they owed it to him since he couldn't make enough money in sales. Uh, Ekabas, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard tomorrow. When the police arrived and figured things out, they shot Cashman on sight. That should have ended the terror, but it didn't. The sheer power of Cashman's hatred and his ruthless obsession with money brought him back to life as a horrible monster. He's still making products, but this time he breathes evil into them, turning the products into monsters themselves who suck up a customer's money and soul. Cashman's out there somewhere, waiting for the next customer, as he secretly sits in a safe, counting his money. Ooh. Yep, 2 p.m. PSC, that's correct. Sometimes I'll hop on a little earlier, um, but if I do, we won't be start. Well, by the time 5, or rather, by the time 2 p.m. Pacific time rolls around, that's like when we'll be starting the game. If I hop on early, it's usually just a chat. To the challengers, punish Cashman who crept up from hell for money. Banish him from this world forever. Be aware he does not notice people who do not have a certain amount of money. This time, your prize money is awarded to you beforehand. We don't mind, though. If your money is stolen by Cashman and the evil goods in the store... Uh, this place is in, uh, it's in Nebraska. But, uh, I know this for sure because Tess and I are always saying, uh, the line from the one document you find in this that I, I won't, uh -huh. actually won't say it because I'll just, we're going to read it on stream in a moment. I like the way that this game uses the term freaked out. Like, it uses it, like, like, most people use freaked out to be like, wow, you really freaked out there. Like, it was like a real dick. Whereas this game uses it to be like, you become, like, homicidally murderous? Like, it's a, it, it's a fun translation. The amount is one million dollars. 
Cash fax sale today. If you buy $100 or more, you'll get $100 back. Don't miss this opportunity. Many people are expected to rush the sales floor. We ask you to get a ticket at entrance and enter in order. When you go back, please follow the floor attendant who will guide you to the exit. Please note that you may not be able to enter unless you have a lot of cash. Department Store of Conscious. We treasure all our customers. Cashman Department Store. Car monitor. This guy is obviously a jump scare. Cool. This is the note that lets you know it's in Nebraska. And this is also probably my favorite document in the game. Except for maybe the playing with your worm one. I don't know. It, they're close. They might be tied. <clears throat> Mr. Cashman, please let me apologize for not being able to satisfy your intention. Please blame me as assistant manager for failure of the Cashman department store. Therefore, I will kill myself to compensate for the failure. About the memo with the location of the hidden safes. I disposed of it in the garbage, so please don't worry. If there's any chance, please let me help you again as an assistant manager of the Cashman department store in my next life. Let us elevate ourselves to become the richest in Nebraska! Bye for now! It's been an exciting 38 years of my life. Lastly, I'd like to praise the Cashman department store. Long live Cashman in the store! Regards, Edward Gibson. What it, I love that because it's like... It is the, the most insanely Japanese sentiment possible. Like, I will kill myself to, to atone for this dishonor. Please let me serve you in the next life. Long live your empire! Uh, and that's like the idea... Oh god, it's just so good to me. First safe in grass, second safe for Mary, both near Manning and Ghost. A large evil spirit eats money by the third safe. Let Tess and I are always saying that though. Let us elevate ourselves to become the richest in Nebraska. See, that normal thing Americans are always saying, you know. That's right, Quatoria. You noticed. I want to play Stray. It looks so cute. Cool. No! I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. Uh, get your dance and emotes out for me. I'll be right back. You know the drill. Get your dance and emotes. Get your animated emotes.
And we are back. Hello. God, what good emotes. Thank you, everybody. There's so many shocks in this level. It's like outrageous. Cool. One of these is an enemy, I think. I think. I don't remember. All right, dummy man, bring it on. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Okay, never mind. Don't bring it on. Hey, and I'm naked. Leave me alone. I'm just a little guy, and I'm naked. And it's my birthday. Leave me alone. Why? Well, thank you, Peter Shoes. I, I'd like to think so. Fuck it, just tag them all. Come on, man! Joseph's daughter, we are playing Ill Bleed. More specifically, we're doing the true ending of Ill Bleed. Which is kind of like a speed run and second run through it. With additional content at the end. My money! I don't need it, but the principle that matter. You're projecting me onto your living room wall? Oh, I love that. Not the pumpkin hair? Or something? Yes, the home theater berry experience. That's right. More and more people are doing this. My money! Oh my god! Let me go! No! Cake from hell. <laughs> but I need something more to be a complete cake. A cake I'd be proud to be. I feel like the top of my head needs something glorious, or should I say, glorious to crown me. What do you have that I could wear as a decoration? Hmm? Ah, it's the cake from hell. Now, there's actually a bunch of things you can give him, but this is the only one he likes. There's a bunch of like real cake stuff you can give him, like strawberries and stuff. Oh, Candles. Yeah. This is just what I needed. Complete at last. Thanks to you, I'm complete again. Why not take me with you? This head makes me look so fabulously fiendish, darling. By the way, for great strength and energy, why not take a bite of me? A good idea. Thank you, the cake from hell. Hell cake obtained. It's so funny, he's not like a quest item. You just get him and he's like a consumable that heals you. So weird. For great strength energy, why not take a bite from me? Yeah, exactly. Very naked now. 
That's pretty cool. So what do I have to do for this ending? So, we've been working on this for a couple days. Uh, we had to beat the entire game and rescue everybody. Um, and now this is a new game plus, and now we have to let everyone die. Um, every time we do, we lose some of our clothes for some reason. Um, and then once you get to the end, there was like a whole another area and, and hidden boss, and like the real ending is hidden behind this incredibly weird sequence of things to do. Yeah, yeah, you mainly have to let all your homies die, but you have to beat the entire game and rescue them all first. I knew it. Cool. Yeah, exactly. I'm rending my garments out of grief. That must be what it is. These are giant cockroaches that you can feed the meat we just got to. Yes. And you just have to feed them like an arbitrary amount. I think it's randomized. That one only took two. And just a pretty arbitrary amount of meat. I like that the uh, beef the, uh, has like just horns in the center of like a, a, a tube shaped cut. It's great. See, as you can see, we're still feeding this guy. There we go. Hi there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. Hey, I see you brought your own meat. I did. You can grill it up right here on my good old grill. Wow, thanks. Takes a lot of doing to cook all that meat, mind you. Sure does. I'll make sure you're well done, too. Thank you. What you waiting for? Nothing. Get you and your meat up on the now. You yes. hear? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll play after this. I really want to play Fatal Frame, but I'm having trouble getting it to uh, to run properly. So I think it's up in the air right now. Well, well, well. You're pretty good. Thanks to you, I can't get any more. Switch ad victim. Thank you so much for the resub. 12 months. Hell yeah. Thanks so much. Actually, I've never looked at this board, you know? I bet you there's some good stuff on it. Today's menu, rib steaks, bacons and onions, barbecue chickens, flank steaks, barbecue pork chops, grilled pork steaks, free drink, exclamation point, turkey burgers, fresh meats and vegetable. Ve it, it's, oh, is that supposed to be vegetables? I guess, probably? Very good. Turkey burgers is the yeah is the best one though. <laughs> I love to have a turkey burger. Ah, to have a delicious burger. How hard was it to get this one to run? This was not too bad. I, we luckily have a very capable tech producer for the stream who does like most of the technical side of stuff. So if something doesn't work on the stream, it, it usually has to be pretty difficult. And even if it is, we can probably work it out with enough time. Of course. That makes sense. We do love MK.
Actually, I don't need to fight you. Why am I fighting you? You're not the actual. You, we, we have to fight some of these ones at some point in this level. It's awful. We need to fight this guy. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish to hollow up my body so MK could pilot me like a meat mech. That does sound good. Maybe maybe for a bonus stream or something. Also, MK, we gotta talk. I got those lab mics in. I don't know how the hell they work. But we do have lab mics now. Stream elements, that's so true. We do have an ongoing HelloFresh sponsorship. <laughs> It is a great way to learn how to cook. I have actually learned how to cook and not light myself on fire in the last week with it. Great point. And we will be doing a cooking stream. Lav. Lavalier mics. Yes, M MK thankfully donates a, a great deal of time uh, to the stream and makes a lot of really wonderful things happen and for us. It, like it, MK is probably the most important facilitator of the stream besides like me having to be on camera. Um, and even then, she might be more important than me. Um, and in return, I pay her by supplying her with more goth girls. audio savvy, then how come I can't hear you? Pretend the Doom Eternal music started playing after I said that. more punk and more legit the opposite of what i want i spent so long being gritty punk and legitimate i'm here to sell out baby the stairs that kill you is a flight of stairs in my house um where it goes around a corner in like small triangular fanned out stairs it's, uh, MK fell down the stairs, so. I called them the stairs that kill you before that, but then MK also fell down them very shortly after that. You can save legit until being legit almost kills you and then retire in disgrace. This is true. Well, I I like to think I am pretty uh, scrupulous with my uh, where I take sponsorship money from because I've gotten offered some pretty big sponsorships that I've turned down because they were from say I don't know uh, maybe some sort of NFT related gaming company or like uh, I don't know uh, the largest uh, the largest military in the world and sometimes you know like I. I I keep my ethics, I keep my scruples. Let's do this.
On my Lockheed Martin. Yeah, my Lockheed Martin sponsorship. Yeah, HelloFresh is like, uh, HelloFresh is a nice sponsorship to do because it's like, I, here I am actually getting the product and actually, like, genuinely really enjoying it. Uh, which is not, you know, you can't say that about everything that anyone has ever taken a sponsorship for, you know? This is, yeah, this is one of the worst fights in the game. The fight with the three worms. Basically here, your best bet is just to run around, swing one time as soon as you can get behind one of them. Because you don't want to accidentally get in front of them and get hit. And just kind of hope that you make more hits than they do. There really ought to be a save point right but like, if this game was made today, uh, this should be a save point like right before this. There's not. But that's why we play it. We literally, the reason we play this on an emulator on stream instead of on the original hardware is because of this fight. It's like literally only because of this fight. Because if you lose, and I, I, I would say I lose maybe 50% of the times I try to do this fight, uh, you have to like reload and it takes forever. So luckily this time we're on New Game Plus and we have maxed out stats. So much easier than it used to be. Yeah, they sell, you know, it, it's a meal prep service. They, they sell you food every week. It's, it's going to cost like going grocery shopping or whatever. But they sell you, yeah, they sell you a nice product. And uh, I am enjoying having it. So, you know, it's nice, to, it's nice to promote something where I'm like, I actually, I actually do feel this way. I do really like all this stuff a lot. I am really having a nice time cooking. Whereas, like, could you imagine, like, promoting, like, the NFT gaming company? I got contacted by... This NFT gaming company was, like, breathing down my neck. Like, DM'd me and emailed me and, like, like... They were, like, really wanted me really, really bad. And I was just like, I can't... Do that. No. Um... And I had to, like, explain to... Like, I didn't have to, but I chose to. Because I hope the person who works there can wise up. I was like, it is... Be there's not an amount, they didn't even tell me they were going to pay me. I'm sure it was good pay because NFT guys have money. I was like, there's no amount you could pay me that would be worth, like, the hit to my repute that becoming an NFT shield would, like, you know, like, the, the damage to my brand and to my trust my viewers have in me. have a guest star as the first trans woman to fly a predator drone. Yeah, when I get that Lockheed Martin sponsorship. That's a great idea. Question. I, I didn't take that approach. I said, feel free to contact me again if you take the NFTs out of your game. Because it was like a, you know, it was like a fun, it looked like a little action RPG. It didn't look that bad. I was like, okay, yeah, reach out to me if you take out, like, you know, weird money laundering scam stuff. God, that was so much easier with max stats than it normally is. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, uh, it probably can fast forward it. RB, the, the normal way was not working right away, and I, uh, I did not do as much testing as I should have before the stream. It's really on me. A defense industry streamer. Yeah, I'm gonna really break into that market. One eight six three. Ooh, a stand up and stretch. I'll do that as I type this num after I type this number in. One eight six three. Enter. Man, we still have an Artesian Builds uh, command left over. That's so funny. No, our sponsor is HelloFresh this week. Man, remember Artesian Builds? That was funny. I took the Artesian Build sponsorship literally to learn how to read a contract. I was like, this seems like a thing I don't actually care about. I want to learn how to read a contract. They're not really asking me to do very much. Thank you, MK. Yeah, that updates it to our current sponsor. I was bummed that the facilitator that offers me my sponsorships made me choose between the HelloFresh sponsorship and the GoPuff sponsorship. I was like, man, I will use both of those. <laughs> Give me them further apart, please. I hope they change their mind. Yeah, no one's ever no one ever actually bought an Artesian Builds computer. Like we all know that's the truth. Thank you. I'm glad you like the jumpsuit. Isn't it great? I love my jumpsuit. I do wear it a lot. It, well, it, cause it's so easy. It's like a whole fancy outfit in one garment. Toy shop time. Yes, you don't be having no clothes. No, my money! Why? <laughs> Getting banned from Twitch for my Erico cosplay. Not Mr. Miracle! No, no! Cool. 
What if his streamer was dirty and stinky? Yeah, uh, uh unprecedented. Cool. Yeah, I'm just kind of tanking my way through this now. Ah, Dashman, the protagonist of Dashcon. Cool. Turn off my AC. One second. Yeah, it's a shame without a signature ball pit. No! The real question is, am I going to finish this, or am I going to get too frustrated at the uh, skipping rope part and leave that for next stream? That's the real question of this level. Yeah, we're getting, like, savaged out here by these toys and whatnot. Presented by Lockheed, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the rope jump is in this level, unfortunately. No, not the baseball! Yeah, Mr. Met, why? Cool. Wow, look, it's the cast of the la a later episode. How fun. It's Sexy Doll, and Podadon, and Quark. Yeah, remember, we all know Podadon, you know, that popular character. This one has a particularly egregious jump rope part. Can't wait to check out my new product. But Marie, are you sure that's what your name is? Nice Doesn't sound what it says behind you. A good time. I can't wait for you to stop by and see me. We'll have lots of fun. Promise. Don't be long now. I'll meet you in high. Would be the, the most interesting. I guess it depends what part of it's interesting. The most interesting to look at, or the most interesting to put the cosplay together. Because to put the cosplay together, it's probably like Banbalo or something. Something that requires like some real makeup, like some real like, you know, rubber mask makeup effects type stuff. But uh, as far as like which one would be the most fun for you guys to look at, uh, probably Eriko in the true ending. Yeah, which uh, Suzuka? Which one are they? It's like the uh, the sunglasses. Uh, I don't remember the other two are. Thanks for hanging out, just a spirit. And 
poor cos yeah, sexy doll cosplay where I, I keep that like back breaking position for four hours and I accidentally like paralyze myself from the waist down. That sounds good. That's my vote. The funniest part about being naked here is because we have maxed out stats, we're still stronger than we've ever been. We're just also naked. Yeah, I forgot the sexy doll talks as if her ass is like where the like where her face is. Like she centers in the frame that way. Yeah, you're right. It's a power play. Get him, get him, get, 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 come on, come on, come on! Yeah, you stay on the ground, cutie Marie. Cutty Marie. Cutie Mary. I don't, it's not entirely clear what your name's actually supposed to be. Cutie Mary seems to make the most sense, but that's not what you say. Hunty Murray. Yeah, that's because she's always serving. Are you yeah, you're right. The practice wears weighted clothes. They take them off and they fall to the ground like Rock Lee. That's why we're so strong now. Club section. Uh, four Mary cards can be placed here. Okay. Um. All right, Mary. Uh, here's my spade card. Can I come into the room yet? No. I have to do it three more times. So, Tad Victim, no! No! <laughs> yes, this is exactly the key items not getting used automatically era. I do remember all the small dolls that you beat up and they turned into a big doll in Final Fantasy IV. I hate to lose. But hey, you won. So that's that. I dare you to come to my- Yeah, I get it. You go to the next room and now you're going to make me guess where you are, you asshole. I We've done this before and there's going to be a shock in all the other places. You monster. I remember your whole deal. You're gonna hide in one of these places. I don't remember which one you, you can be in, but uh, I know the sunglasses is one of them. No! I get hypnoed. Tess is here. Speaking of hypnode, how are you? Find me. That 
should have been impossible. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, that's right. Let's scrap. I'm looking especially scantily clad this evening. Yeah, thank you. I try. She has no clothes on because this is how the true ending goes down. You, after you beat the game, you can play it again and you let everyone die. And every time someone dies, some of your clothes fly off. This isn't like a mod. This is not anything I did. This is this is how the game is. This is not only is this how the game is. This is the true ending. Alright, yeah, shut up. Let's go do your terrible, evil, uh, jump rope puzzle that you're going to make me do, you little monster. You suddenly have a great urge to experience great savings with HelloFresh? Well then, good! We have a code for that. I made two of mine so far. I made the salmon! It was really good. I held on to the recipe for it. I'll probably make it again, just like on my own. All right, let's do it. Let's do the jump rope part. I have never seen the true ending. It, once we, like, right now, uh, this is all new to me. I mean, like, the levels so far are mostly the same, but the whole being naked, brand new to me. The end part, once we, like, finally get through all this, is tomorrow. It's gonna be new to me, too. So. You're here again. This will be our last- Alright, let's do it. Naked jump rope, let's go. God, this is gonna be murder on her back. <laughs> Yeah, Tess, you should do this part for me. Oh, you watched this earlier? Yeah, it, it uh, it's still bad. The buttons, the, the buttons are so responsive. It's just, it's so responsive that when I hit the button, it happens every time, and it's not as if sometimes it just doesn't work, and that's why I lose. It's always, I don't know what it is. That number jump is right around where it starts to hit the speed where it becomes unresponsive. Which isn't great, because there's still two more jumps after that. And you have to start over, of course, when you get hit. This is the, this is the singular worst part of the game, though, honestly. Like, without a doubt. Maybe some of like the optional last bosses might be more annoying, like maybe Bullstinger is more annoying, but you don't have to ever fight Bullstinger. You just fight Ono Man. Uh, it slows the last one down. So you can't you can't even if you build muscle memory, it actually makes it worse. Also, as you can see, when I press start, it doesn't skip that getting hit cutscene. It just pauses it.
what Echo Bass, the thing that's interesting about this is that, like, jump, jump scare horror wasn't really, like, today that's a whole genre. That wasn't really a genre at this time. It's actually, uh, weirdly kind of interesting that this is just that. Again. Suzuka, maybe it did, but I also feel like maybe this game also, this, uh, if this got playtested, maybe it should have never made it into the game. So I wonder if this got playtested. Smarter, not harder. There we go. I hate to say this, but you beat me fair and square. That's right, I did. I feel like such a loser. You can take as much treasure as you want at the exit. Later, Gator. Yeah, you're right. It, it, the Blue Singer devs, they are simply bad at games. Ah, uh, yes, the Merry Stick. Perfect. Time to heal up. Do I have an Amazon? Yes, I do. Full heal, please. Thank you. Use that to enter the painting. The Mary stick, I mean. Why is it called Amazon? Who knows? Who knows what it actually was supposed to be translated to? Yeah, I agree that uh, I don't think the back half of this game received any playtesting at all. However, this part, the part where that I am a naked girl with a uh, submachine gun, this is real gaming. More games should be this. about when I was, uh, I heard what I thought was my, uh, my roommate and his girlfriend having a fight, and then I walked by and I realized they weren't fighting. What was actually happening was he was loudly and angrily explaining the history of Bethesda and Todd Howard to her. Twenty-one six one. Exactly. Yeah, I, everyone immediately knows exactly what. <laughs> oh, this is part where we get groped by the bug. This is me and Tass.
Yeah, she's fine. No biggie. I bought it. I did buy a Fortnite cosmetic. I did not get the John's. Here's why you say this. Usually I would go along with a joke, Koichi, but I think the truth is actually funnier. Uh, I bought a, uh, a Sakura from Street Fighter skin, but my wife last night got an unexpected uh, check from our old uh, security deposit. Literally the very first thing she does, she says, I have money now. She fucking goes on the PS5 and buys the John Ski Cena's Fortnite skin. Very first thing she does. So I do in fact have that skin in my household. Yeah, I do have gamer wife. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I've had a PS5 for a little bit. I've had a PS5 since, uh, like, February or something like that. Now, the PS5 doesn't really get streamed because it's so my wife has something to play while I'm, uh, occupying the gaming PC and streaming. So, generally, the PS5 is relegated to her off-stream gaming. Getting the Batman skins in Fortnite. Hell, you, you need the Batman who laughs. This guy gets a call from his girlfriend and we steal his remote. For anyone who wants to see all these cutscenes, our last couple streams, we have played through this entire game, watched, watched all cutscenes, read all the documents. We're more just running for that whole, uh, that good, good secret ending right now. So I'm skipping some of these cutscenes. The money stairs, yeah, right? My, yes, my wife likes when things are bad, and the worse they are, the more good they are to her. That's like pretty key. Here's Cashman. We have the remote to control him now, though. So this boss fight isn't really a boss fight. We just kind of make Cashman jump himself into the wall till he dies. Oh, she'll let me. She'll let me stream from it. I, but I choose not to because I already have the gaming PC and I want to make sure that she has something to play on. Love ya. We have a code nine here. I repeat, code nine. This is an emergency. Cashman's on fire, and the flames are spreading fast. There's no time. We need to evacuate the visitor now. Roger that. We're activating the emergency escape unit. <coughs> yeah, we were we're out of toy pretty quick. That's true. Pull down the ladder. You gotta get out of here. Quick. Yeah, man, only one gaming PC. How many, it look like I made a gaming PCs? Technically, I have a laptop now, but like, I literally got it today. It's so we can do our cooking stream. So we're not anymore naked because nobody died. But we'll be more naked tomorrow. Give it a quick save. Yeah, depending on how the cooking stream goes, uh, there'll be more activity streams. I, was, I can play on the laptop because I'm going to go to the beach in September with my folks and maybe I could do a little stream from the beach or something. It'd be cute.
it's getting to be about that time. I think we should go put on our closing song and wrap up for the evening. Kid sings Chug Jug with you at Coachella. Just mold that over in your heads overnight. I'll see you guys again tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Go say hi to Moot for me. Bye bye. <laughs>